Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. We just talk. Young lady off me water, that was so nice of you. Thank you, ma'am. But I didn't want anything, but she was very nice. I appreciate you. Uh -oh. We'll give everyone in your chain. Oh, I am. Which one you want, on baby? <laughs> Got yeah. the ropes. You don't want the little one. You want the big one? <laughs> Last time uh, you can have it. <laughs> She's kind of cute. Oh, okay, we're on. Bring them dreadlocks on, girl. All right, we're on. Uh, oh, we're we're on. On. Uh, uh, didn't know. You said your catchphrase. That's what they be waiting for. What's that? In the comments. Mm, what is that? We're on. Okay, all right. We're on. Are we on? <laughs> Did you brighten up your day? Yeah. Jeez. So much, so much non-talent in this room. It just just presses me. You right. Oh, you always right. wonder you why I sit in the car before I come here because mm. I have to actually just lay it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I know the boss lady's here. Then I see the producer. I feel good. And I see your car, and I don't see you. That's I, I see your car. It hurts. But I'm mm. glad you're here. Oh, I thought you sat in your car just to see the engine go off every time. <laughs> no, I just sit in my car just to decompress because, you know, whenever before you go into whatever you do, you should. Yeah. So, all right, yeah, your phone does that every week. Can you control I'm it? I'm popular. And then you grab the wrong thing. That's what made it even funnier. That's what she said. I have you my holder. <laughs> Good one, Jazzy. <laughs> damn, that was stop, a layup. That was stop, a, stop yeah. bite. That's TDP's line. That's another thing I'm going to stop. What? If you're what? not, if, what? What? I don't want to see you use his funny for you to be funny. Ooh. I've looked, I've watched the show and a couple times. <laughs> oh, you've critiqued it? Yeah, yes. I actually took some notes and, mm. and I meant to send them out to all of you, but it didn't really matter at the time. <laughs> it does. Okay. Um, his email was off, but go ahead. But uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I was so hoping you got a real gig over in Japan. No, I did. <laughs> wow, that was the crazy thing about it. I did. I was hoping you say, "Hey, man, I ain't coming back for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do." But I got a, a I got a, Rory Flynn. But I got a text from TDP said, "Come back, man, because this nigga Lewis just don't know how he don't know what he's doing." So please. Oh, it's mm. okay. Uh, oh, okay, before we go any further. Oh, we're here. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Dan and Green. What's the name of the? Uh... In a man's world, tighten up your right. belt. Now we found something out. Okay. What we find out, Lou? Oh, somebody said, I just saw you. Haven't seen you since McDonald's days. Oh, wow. That was back in the day, man, when I worked off of Canaan Road, Mickey D's. Um, the off Patterson the Group. Yep, the Patterson Group. <clears throat> um, so, uh, you okay? You all right, man? We had a great invite. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start there. First of all, we want to thank Mr. Bruce W. Smith, who is the creator of a proud family, a brother. Great show. Uh, born in L.A., Okay. Uh, he invited us down to watch. And I normally would not go out. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm like, okay, let me go. Um, and I went, we missed you. Missed Good. Missed you. Yeah. Jeff was there, which I was surprised, and Poetis was there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we saw some great friends that we've known for years who are icons. Yeah. Uh, we saw Glenn Turman. Love him. I mean, just a beautiful guy. Yeah. He's, he's so talented. He played, on one play, he played a roach. That was his character. Mm -hmm. he a, roach? a roach? Damn. That's how bad he is. Did he crawl? Did they slap? He they? played the roach. Okay. Whatever roach does. You want to say something? You, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mic up. Yeah, I can see we no, were getting, getting interrupted we're early. Go ahead. But no, I was just going to say I have some pictures that we captured for that evening. Oh, and we want to thank um, Guy Tory for sitting there for dead. How He well, couldn't even get, yeah, to, the, couldn't yeah, get yeah, to the joke. Yeah, Guy, <laughs> <laughs> we learned a lot about... Uh, 
<laughs> we had the pleasure of, I was shocked when I saw a guy. I'm like, okay, he's not on the road. He's a little lonely. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> you know, since Jericho. Joe doesn't like him or he doesn't like Joe. But uh, found out, interesting weekend. Mm -hmm. I did some things that I normally wouldn't do. Because he invited us to the cigar thing. Yeah. Okay, got a text. Now I'm normally not going. So I told Code 3, yeah, he invited, Bruce invited me and Guy. Both separately. I was like, why? Why? First, I asked the guy, Bruce, why do you even like our show? Because mm. he's a creative guy, smart, intelligent. He loves our show. He said from, but then I got it because he used to listen to it in the Fox old days. Right, right. So. Mm -hmm. He knows the rhythm. Yeah, so he knows that mm -hmm. that was a show. And this is just mm. like the children of Fox. <laughs> Damn, who didn't really amount to any that children. Well, at least we're still trying to hold the business together, <laughs> so to speak. Hysterical. So the children. I don't get. Foxhole. I get impressed with people who are smarter than me. I think I'm kind of smart. Well, thank you. No problem. This, I appreciate it. Hmm. See, that's what he would never say. Who's he? The guy Bruce W. Smith. I didn't. I don't care what he wouldn't say. I'm telling you. But thank you, you. You should see. That's the thing. I don't care what he would say. Now that's an interesting phrase. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Because I learned as a parent, you're not supposed to. It's better not to say I don't care. Yeah. When your kids say something or someone else says, because that's dismissive. You're supposed to say regardless. Mm. Thank you. I remember that. You know, I didn't know I was getting, No, I mean just think of somebody. Saying, but no, just think of somebody who say no. It's not even parenting. It's just hey man, I went the other. Day. I don't care. Yeah. These are life lessons it's, with it's love. Like, it's like, okay, I, I, regardless. Cool. Now okay. let me make my point. Regardless. Uh, no, you don't, You can do I'm, it any way you want. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to, I, I like to learn. You just told me that it's good to learn. And, and, and then Code 3 was hilarious because she. She was there? She, no, she flipped me on last oh. night. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to use this. She's doing, she said something smart by mm -hmm. going in the kitchen and getting something. And I'm like, hey, don't say that. Don't. She says, I don't care. I said, don't say that. Just say regardless. Ooh. She said, oh, regardless, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like Cold 3 already. So, uh, <laughs> I, I think Cold like, 3 got class. All right, that was, all right, that was good. But, um, <laughs> got him. Uh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> so the, the man is, now let's start with, if you don't know, and I'm saying this because I, I really just was impressed. Okay. Mr. Bruce W. Smith was, uh, um, he started, you know, remember the first Space Jam? Yeah. Yes. He was the artistic director on that. Wow, that's Michael big... Jordan, Bebe's kids. Wow, Face on Love. Was he the? Is he the coordinated animator? Yes, he's the oh, artistic director. Great. It's his thing. Now, what's interesting was he walks in, he walks in to do, I believe it's Bebe's kids, or it could have been the Michael Jordan love Space Jam. He walks into the office with this box because mm -hmm. he's showing up to work. Mm -hmm. The guy behind the desk, who's somebody's assistant, tells him to go do this, go do A, go do B. He thinks he's a a PA. PA or something. Wow. Go do A, go do B. Gotcha. And he does it. Mm -hmm. Then he sits down and he sees an office because he's thinking, maybe he didn't give me an office. He sees an office with the artistic director's name on it. Mm -hmm. So he's like, Which is his. Which is his, but okay. he's not saying it. The guy's like, oh, he's like, like so this. is that a. He said, Yeah, that's the artistic uh, director. He said, Oh, is it two of them? <laughs> and the guy's like, Well, I know what. What are you do? Who are you? <laughs> He says, I'm an artistic director. Oh, so he says, please, I'm sorry about all this stuff. Oh, <laughs> now it changed. No. Get him some watermelon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Feel comfortable. So, and what a humble guy to, because uh, I know being the comics, we know how we would have walked in that Oh, room. <laughs> But no, I know how we would have acted once he found out who we were. We'd have been like, all right, dog. Yeah. Now we need you to go down to 7-Eleven and get some people something to drink. Well, we know, oh. we know Guy would have done that because oh. he's petty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We know that would have happened. That would happen. I don't know if. But he he would have probably made the Jeff probably Jeff would have got it from the get. No, Jeff would have made the guy his assistant. <laughs> no, Jeff Jeff would have got it from the get. You think Jeff would have said something right from it? the get? Yo, my man, you don't know who I am. You Jeff, know, would you? Jeff, be no, honest with you. I wouldn't give a fuck. See, yeah. wait a minute, hold up. You ain't supposed to say that. Wait, wait. Say regardless, I wouldn't give a fuck. No, no, wait a minute. So you're saying if if that was you and you walk in the room and you're in your box, what would you would you have said something? No, I just ignored him. You would just ignore him. Yeah. So no, he said, "Excuse me, can I help you?" I'm like, yeah, what, what's up? I'm here for this. I'm like, I'd identify myself who I am. Hmm. That's what I've been. But what if but he right away went right to you and yeah. said, hey, listen, hey, why are you doing, uh, man, what's your name, Jeff? I need you to go downstairs and get the, and uh, you're I'm, not moving. I'm not here for that. Hmm. Do I have an office? That's what I'm here for. I'm an artistic director. Hmm. So, oh, okay. I had to clarify that right there. I like how he did it. Who? Yeah, I like man. how he did it. I would have did everything, because, too. Because, Yo, you know, and after that, can you use some toilet tissue? Yeah, no problem. Because that guy I, who told him to do that might end up at a position 
and then he would, boom, it would be a, a work good re working relationship. But no, I would have looked at it differently, Lou, because I would have did everything he said. Because the guy obviously didn't have respect for him enough to even ask him who he was, right? Okay. Because if you come in, if someone comes into this room, like if if I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, can we help you? But obviously he didn't even say that to him. He just told him what to do. So I would have did every, like he did. I would have did everything he told me to do. But then, sorry, but then I would have been like, okay, once he found out, I'd be like, all right. He would had to catch a little heat though, because that's what they would have done to you. They would have done that to you. Yeah, but see, everyone, you don't have to do what everyone's going to do. I'm just you. saying. Because my thing is, I think he's stronger character-wise not to say anything, just go about his business. He didn't. I'm saying he didn't, but I'm saying after the fact. I agree with you. Like Chris Rock did a story, said a story about one time he was on a movie set. He was a director, mm -hmm. and he looked across and he saw a guy that was the security, used to bully him. Wow. And he said, my man came, hey, what's that, what's up? And he said, he thought, the guy, of course, thought Chris was going to get rid of him and all that. He said, nope, just didn't say nothing to him. But he said he knew it ate him up right. that he, he was knew. working for him. And he knew they knew you know what the you situation. know. Yeah. That's more powerful to me. That is, that is. You know more than you know. But now I'm all, hey, how you doing? How's it going? That's eating you up. That's like you get with a woman, and then you get rid of her, then you bring a bad one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they don't know that the bad one got bad breath. So, okay. But that's almost like the, the, the security at MSG, Madison Square Garden. What? How you not gonna know who Patrick Ewing is? Well, because everybody doesn't know who Patrick Ewing is. How you you work at Madison Square Garden? Patrick Ewing. What happened to Patrick Ewing? How you not gonna know who Patrick Ewing? Well, there are people. That way, it could be a generational thing. How you not gonna know? It who, could be a generational how thing. How you got? How you not gonna know who Patrick Ewing? That's because right. there's some 25 year olds who don't know things that we know. Then you shouldn't be working there. Yeah. Well, no, that's if you're great. doing no. if you're no. doing a Knicks game and a seven foot and one you don't dude know <laughs> who this motherfucker has been coming in here for 14 some years. 14 some years. His picture is plastered all up and down the hallway. Okay. Jeff got so, a point. Yeah, okay, that's so, true. You, so, but he's not supposed to. He, in his, in his, what he might be doing, he might be in IT or something. He might be never coming out. He might not like sports. He doesn't care about them. It ain't about that. No, it's about just it's common sense. It is obvious. about. It's not common it's about, sense. It is. That is not if common sense. If you see sense. a seven foot person walking through there, seven foot Jamaican. Yes, there's yes. a lot of seven foot brothers now walking through Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You don't not know. through the oh, players. If, 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 wait a minute. If, no, hey, wait. Not through if the you want to no. see seven foot guys. You might not see them more in Madison Square Garden Not, through, not coming well. through the players' entrance. That's true. That's not true. coming through the players' That's entrance. That's all you would see coming through the players' entrance not, seven no. foot guys. D no. And six eight and six no. five and six four. I'm just saying. No. But my question would be, why wouldn't no. he see how the people around Patrick responded? <laughs> wouldn't you say, you know what I mean? Like, if I see... Somebody, I'm quite sure that's there were other people around it. Someone had to say, you're my man. That's Yo, you! Okay, yeah, did did yeah, he exactly, have the right, exactly, he have the right credentials except A, B, C, D? That, hey, it's rules. He's got to follow his rules. <laughs> and there's guys who have stopped the owners and different people and say, hey, excuse me, I need you to. He's like, hey, well, I'm an uh, I'm owner. I got to go. You stop people in your work. Yeah. Now, now, okay, you stay in your job. When you were a stage manager there, you stopped certain people because you didn't know who they were. Mm, no. Hey, I my man, you was. can't come this way. My man, you can't come this way. Because no, 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 no. the catering, no, no, man. No, no, Let me I'm, in this place. No, 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 no. What, what? It was a different thing. It's what? always the assistants who think they different, somebody. It was a difference. Well, what do you mean? When you've been told that you can't have clearance to that. It's a difference. I went and told them that, yo, I only could take X mount backstage. I can't have everybody. Okay, now if if and if somebody who somebody this is my wife, she's walking with me. What are you saying? It's like, yo, no. <coughs> I did that to what you call it. To who? To um. And then if somebody taps you and says, let no, her go, uh, let her go it through was Jeff. No, it was uh, Michael Clark Duncan. And he was married to Amarosa. That's mm. not really a you can't. Yeah. That's but not, but let me ask you the question though, dude. Lou, on the real though, Lou. What, in defense <laughs> of what Jeff was <laughs> saying, let me ask you this though, Lou. What about someone like Patrick Ewing coming through that way? Like I just said, you don't think anyone around them might have said, "Yo, that's Pat, man. Yo, he, you know, that's you don't know who that is." Okay. Or, or on your point, is he saying his credentials weren't right. up to par? So it's two like, ways. Hey, look at I it. know. Yes, yeah, Patrick, cool. Let me get my boss because this is over my. That's why I always say this is over my pay grade. Right. Because well, if something happens and you're in trouble, well, let me look at this. Let me put it this way. Look about what happened to Clipper Darrow. Now he goes to the Clipper game all this for all these years, and then security dude knocks him out. Well, cause he did you see what he did first? No, what did he do? He swung on the guy first. Oh, he did? Yeah, he threw his bag at him, and he got tagged. Oh, okay. 
I didn't be know careful that. what you ask for. And right. Clipper Darrow ain't nobody's gonna be. I don't care how many, how long you've been there. You still have to have the right way to do it. Right. So it's just, it's just the, the rites of passage. Okay, back to Bruce. Mm-hmm. So what an incredible guy. So he says he likes, he thinks you're funny, as I don't know what. Mm-hmm. He thinks Jeff is. We got to discuss Jeff. He's a straight gangster. <laughs> And it makes him laugh that Jeff is a gangster through and throughout. Um, he didn't really have much to say about you. I'm quite sure he did. I'm quite sure. He couldn't like, wait to do that. I, I know. I know. I knew it was coming too. Sure. I knew. I knew. No, he but, missed you when you were in, and 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 he thinks you you do make a lot of good points sometimes. Yeah, but I'm quite but sure he who he hangs talk with. Too long. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm quite sure that the words have been put out there about me, so he'll tell him he'll have to meet me individually, not through y'all. No, I'm not saying to y'all. I'm well, I mean. People. <laughs> okay, let's go back to. <laughs> so Bruce was incredibly nice to us at the event, and we're going to mm-hmm. show pictures later on. Then we get invited to the cigar bar. Yeah, which one? King is cigar? that downtown? Yes, on yeah, Hope Street. I've been there before. Yes. Okay, so it's I guess guy's a member. Mm-hmm. So first, I was thinking because I was like, all right, he invited me. I wasn't really going to go. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, let me. I'd rather be with Jeff and you if I go. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really don't like guy like that. I don't know him like that. Uh, yeah. Could have fooled me. Huh? Nothing. No, that's the truth. No, I I, I've never, this is my first time ever hanging out with guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I went and I you was like. You were nervous? Yes. And I said, okay. So that is code three. I said, all right, so should I, I, said, I said, bring Jeff? Mm-hmm. You know, I'll call Jeff. And I'll, I'll call you. And I said, but wait a minute. He invited me. Right. And I said, I can't really show up with them. Right. If he had said, hey, bring them, you bring them. Mm-hmm. So I said, all right, I'll go by myself. And then Put on some clean underwear. <laughs> so then I get there and I say to him, like, yo, man, I really wanted to. He's like, where's Jeff? Where's TDP? I was like, you didn't say anything. Bring us. Oh, oh man, you could have brought it. Then guy's like, well, yeah, I only get so many members. I was like, man, he got enough money to pay for your little membership. <laughs> <laughs> a little membership? And Leo Lawrence was there. Leo? From yes. The Bay. Leo Lawrence mm-hmm. is, if he told me one more time about this joke that Jeff told him, and I know he stole it from Jeff. I know he used it. I said, no, Leo. I stole it from somebody. Did you steal it from somebody? Because I told According Leo. to you. No, I just said that if you listen, I said, I, I know I Leo no, Lawrence sta- saying, stole it from you. I know, but I didn't I say you stole it. it. I stole it from somebody. How do you According, know? According to you, because I, I steal say. all the time. Mm. No, oh, like, you so, you, why don't you switch seats? No, I'm just saying. Nah, man, because you're acting like a little girl. Just, just deal with it. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. You trying to act like a girl, so that's why you switch the seats? At times, you're saying. Where the hell that come from? Okay. So he says. It's the girl seat? But he didn't know who he didn't know who I was at first, though. Yeah. Who? Leo. Mm-hmm. He didn't know who I was. Because when he came up, because um, maybe you look different, Jeff. Nah, I that's all right. Same. Chris, my brother Chris, who knows well, you longer than him, thought no, Lewis was you. Because he came up and like they, they was like, oh, that's a uh, guy who was like, yo, Jeff, he's like, you remember Leo Lawrence? And I was like, I don't fucking Leo. And he, with the beard. Yeah. And then I was just like, yo, Leo Lawrence, what's up, brother? And he like, what's up, man? I'm like, how you been? He like, good. And I'm like, he like, do I know you? <laughs> And I'm like, Leo, yeah. Okay. I was like, I was like, Leo, Jeff Arnold. And he was like, Jeff. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, and I was I was cool with it. Yeah. You should have just I told Leo like, he got a terrible golf swing. He would no. talk to you all. Yeah, he wanted to tell me about his, his knee and his hip. Yeah. <laughs> he been and his knee been hurting. Like, let me tell you something. This knee been hurting for a long time. No, he said time. he had one, he had last summer he had a knee Re- replacement. Yeah, and then this summer he's getting the other one. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Now Leo is yay area. And this is the interesting thing of sitting around talking to people. Because I told Leo, I was like, we never knew these things about you. Probably would have treated you better. Hilarious. And he was a Morehouse graduate. Morehouse yeah. graduate. He was a Morehouse man. man. Um, went through some tough times, just like all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sleeping in his car. Mm-hmm. And he was a heavy gambler back then because I used to drop him off and pick him up from the casino. Yeah, yeah. Leo used to, yeah. <laughs> I, used to play, I used to play cars with him. <laughs> so Leo liked him poker. He, liked he, he told his, his journey, which was beautiful. And mm-hmm. now he's in a good spot of... He's definitely confident that he's the best writer on that show. He's been that way since the him, 90s. Him and, him and Calvin <laughs> Brown Jr. and another person were the best writers in the room, and Bruce had to, like, mm, you know. Slow down now. Yeah. So, um, You're trying to keep a job here. Yeah. But, but, but he, he, interested in his journey. They told him when he first went to do um, Bebe's Kids, mm-hmm. they said he was working for Disney, which he still does. Who, Leo? So, yeah, no, no, Leo Bruce? works for Disney. We, Leo works for Bruce. Yeah. yeah. So Bruce... Boss called him in and said, hey, we want to do this, you know, we want to do a black cartoon. 
And well, he said Bebe's kids first, and they said, "Okay, if you can get Regula Hudlin, we'll green light the, the, the green light." Regula Hudlin, direct to Bebe's kids. So he said he didn't know Reg. So he said he called him up. He said, "Ah, right, yo, this is the deal. I can do this cartoon." Bebe's kids. Said, All right, cool. And Reggie went ahead and got with him and sat and they sat down, and got together, and hired Faison, who at the time was new. Yeah. So Faison was easy to work with. Very funny. Though. But the ta- yeah. the cast that he worked with was in on Bebe's kids was incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Vanessa. I mean, I mean, no, even for her, man, you you talking about the people? If if somebody, well, boss, if you could look up our the cast of Bebe's kids, pull it up, and you see, it's amazing. You know, just the the depth of mm-hmm. entertainers that he used on that mm-hmm. thing. Um, shout out to my man Reggie Dorsey too. Reggie was there. Reggie was there. He Dorsey. played a part in uh, the Cowboy. Reggie no Dorsey. Reggie Dorsey, bad, nice guy. Um, and Good then dude. comes uh, um, hold on, hold Space on. Jam. Before you go any further, Reggie Dorsey that used to be down at the Sunset uh, Comedy Spot. The... He used to hang with Art Evans. Art, Art, Art no, Evans. not he. But he, he used to do the comedy show. thing. Mm-hmm. He was in South Central. No, he's a, isn't he? He he's dresses like cowboy. He does like cowboy. A, yeah, him and Glenn yeah, Turman. They're cowboys. He was yeah. the one. If you remember that you used to do comedy for with his man Roland, who passed. Remember Roland when he used works. to do the comedy? Oh, up there? Roland at the yeah, remember we used to do that? Club. Yes. Yeah, the Hollywood. At, yeah. Yeah, because you were there, and that's where I got one of my first starts. Because you used to do the show all the time. Yeah, but Reg, it was more Roland. And, it was more Reg, and Reggie. It was Roland. It was Roland and Reggie. Roland, Tex. Tex. It was, it was Roland. And Reggie Tex. wasn't really. He was just there. He was just black there. Hollywood. Well, Reggie, I got to give him a shout because Reggie put my, gave me a good gave me a good shout out to Roland and Roland gave me a chance because yeah. you weren't there that time. I Reggie's that nice guy. Yeah, you interrupted yeah. him to say that. Yeah, because but but you know I was yeah I did. <laughs> yeah, that was on Tuesdays. Black Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Reginald because he's a good dude. Um, I hear you, eighty three. We'll, we'll discuss that. Um, um, okay, so. And then he it's did um, Space Jam. Yeah, no, he did Space Jam. But just the fact of who this guy had. I, I spoke to Dr. Cosby about him mm-hmm. in reference to to uh, Fat Albert. Yeah. Now, Fat Albert, Dr. Cosby told me that all the writers and the actors were white. No. He said he did Mushmouth, he did Fat Albert, and he did, he did Cosby. Of course, mm-hmm. Cosby voice. But all the other ones. So he did three characters. Yeah, all okay. the other ones were done by white. So Here Rudy I'm thinking in white. the 70s, black people were working. Hmm? Rudy was white. It was white boy. Wow. Wow. And he said, you know, and he's, you know, he, he, I'm he depressed. Had to, he had to, no, I mean, that's just where they were. Right, I mean, right, there wasn't right. any, and just like Bruce said, there weren't really many black animators. Mm-hmm. You know, I meant to ask him who the first one was, but, and then, so he was smart enough. Then Guy was talking too. Leo was the weakest link. Mm-hmm. But he was okay. I was just asking questions. But Guy Tory is a really smart guy. Mm-hmm. Really knows, you know, the little tidbits that, little gems that you should know for people who are going to get into uh, different stuff. So that was a great, we're supposed to do it again Saturday. And he wants you guys to come. He didn't mention you. I won't come. Why not? Where's it going to be at? Probably at the cigar <laughs> thing. Okay. Maybe I might come. Mm-hmm. All right, I mean. I'm just saying, you know, I might cover you. You know, you said Awkward. those two. If I'm, yeah, I, <laughs> if I'm invited. If not, well, yeah, guys say, said something about you can only get so many members in, but they have a one day pass where it's twenty five dollars. Mm-hmm. So we'll just to make guy feel okay. We'll pay the twenty five, and then he can still be. Uh, I thought it was awkward in the cigar place because people were watching the game and and guy and them were being kind of loud. Yeah. But then I guess if you're a member, you can be loud. Yeah. Did you smoke? Did you smoke a cigar? I had a cigar. You mm-hmm. did? I never know you smoked cigars. Little, little sick, but you guys smoked the light ones, that's why. Yeah, I smoked the light ones. Because mm-hmm. if you smoke a heavy one, you really would be sick. They were smoking. TDP, you smoke cigars? They told me how to light it. I take the fifth. <laughs> okay. We ain't talk about, right. the, we ain't talk about the dope. Do that, but, <laughs> but that's kind of like, I think we did that before everybody else was doing it. Was that? Yeah. yeah, before it became a thing. Yeah. I was, we were smoking cigars yeah, before, before it was, yeah, you know, before, before it became a fad. When we was doing it in front of the Regency, then everybody was yeah, like, yeah. trying to be like Cosby. And it was mm-hmm. like, okay. And I was like, yeah, this is a Cosby cigar. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's and just. everybody just. Now everybody goes to the club, cigars, hang around. But that's their, they do that in golf. Mm-hmm. So that that's the new thing. When I was golfing out here, then everybody was like, oh, that's the white man's sport. It's like, oh, this is something. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Golf is the sport. It is the sport, baby. All right. How was your weekend? Wonderful. I'm alive. It's great. All right. I survived the mass shooting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, how was your weekend? My weekend was great, man. I uh, I slept a lot. I'm just getting back on our time because I've been. I actually got invited to perform with DL, and I couldn't even do it. Mm-hmm. Cause I was, yeah, I was scared to drive out there because I've been my I've been sleeping at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. So DL offered me a spot down there in Ontario, and um, I got a late start kind of. Then I was like, you know, I'm not going to try to make it a rush. So on Friday night, it was, you didn't call nobody else to take your it, slot. Yeah, it was a story. Um, no, it's not that. It's just that DL, you know, he he's got his three. He's got his two. Mm-hmm. Jay Phillips and um, the other brother I forgot his name. But uh, and then um, you know, but he invited me. I, but I actually did a show. Actually, that was the Dale's uh, radio show there on um, the other day, Friday. Okay, great, yeah, fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till you find it. You know, did DL. you mention the podcast? Huh? No. Did you no. mention it in Why a man's world? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't get an opportunity to. He should. I mean, he's got. He's trying to find. I hope he lands on DL or. No, it's it's, it's nothing. I love the show. Actually, I watch it every time we do it. But the That's problem right. is, is that not the problem. But when you do a show like DL's. You're, they have their thing, so whatever they're talking about, you know what I mean? Because he gives me the credits, he gave me the love, and I think I did two of two shows because they do more than one show at a time. Yeah, right. So I did two of the shows, and I wasn't expecting. But I actually went there to give him something, and wound up like sit down. Hey, my boy Danny Green's in the house, and he gave me some love. So big shout out to DL. But yes, I love the show. I tell a lot of people about the show, but and I watch it. You not don't. that night. Yeah, not that night. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I had a. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, sometimes you so, forget. Paul, is the other pictures from the event? Yeah, let's do that. If you want to do yes, that, did you I want do. to do that with your? It your... was quite interesting night. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's our first photo. Did you? Uh, yeah. Here's our first photo. There's Jeff That's Lewis and Bruce Ty. in the back with the hat on. Okay. And Jeff looking like he's upset. That was a fun picture. Oh, she cropped wow. out. It was some other people <laughs> in it. <laughs> wow. Who else? Yeah, because I was who like, else? who didn't really know them. sit with that? Who was, who was that? I was just trying to be I nice. I don't even know who I they don't know, were. but she cropped them out. It was two other people. <laughs> that POTUS is, and she did it good, too. It's like, it doesn't look like anybody else was in the picture. I know. <laughs> She's a star at that. Uh, and yeah, she cropped them out. Did and you she touch, said it. Did you touch up? Because those colors look real nice. Did you do like a little edit? No, that was the set. They had, instead of a red carpet, they had a, a movie set. Okay. Nice. Sat down. And, and, and she said, okay, yeah, I'm going to crop them out. She said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and she did. When I got it, I was like, she straight up did crop them out. <laughs> I don't know those people. Wow. Okay. I told him to sit with us. I, iPhone 14 ain't no joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's okay. uh, Glenn Thurman. Glenn Thurman. Thurman. And There's Reggie. Um, Reggie and the crew, Guy yes. and Jeff and Lewis. I kept telling Guy that it looks like Joe's top. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Mr. Bruce Smith. Yeah, okay. he's the creator of The Proud Family. The new season debuts February 1st mm-hmm. um, on Disney+, Plus. so be sure to check that out and support. Okay. And we got to see the first two episodes. And that was three years of work. Yeah, really? Yeah, for the writers. You got some backstory, huh? I yeah, asked a lot of questions. Oh, nice. Lou will ask questions. I wonder, I wonder, um, and of course, that's the great, great, I got Coach Chiso Musa. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. Jacobs. Yeah. That's my man right there. Why you didn't invite him to the show, Louis? Yeah, you got him, 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 he'll come. That's Jeff's responsibility. How's that my responsibility? Mm. You know him. You know him, too? You don't know Lawrence? No. I know. Like, Lou is my man. That's my man. Reggie, like, See? you and Glenn Thurman, y'all exchanging explicit motherfuckers. Damn. You like, oh, I follow this motherfucker. And he like, oh, this motherfucker. And I'm like, okay, invite him to the show. You like, ah. I don't Glenn know. This, Thurman, I don't know this hey, motherfucker. Hey, like I said, man, Glenn Thurman, <laughs> we's on a different world. He just, yeah. just dropped gems. And here's Lewis. Yes. <laughs> That was his actually <laughs> who's that girl? Lewis? No, that is oh, that is EJ. EJ. Huh? That's, that's Magic Dave. Johnson's. Johnson's and I have been daughter. wanting to meet him. Uh oh. Now is it? What's his pronoun? I guess it's a she. No, it's yeah. not. It's no. I've I never can't heard see. Of it. I'm not, well, let me just put it this way. I got to meet EJ, so I'm not EJ. sure what his pronoun uh, is. And he but. was fanning out to everybody. I'm just gonna what say does fanning that. out mean? There. Oh. I was excited to meet yeah, him. Yeah, he was. Meet EJ. He was excited to meet him, and he was looking for Billy, Billy Porter I mean, all night. And I was looking for Billy Porter because I want to talk to these. 
I want to talk to EJ and, and find out what his pronoun is. No, I just want to. I just want to wow. be better educated. Damn. I just want to be better, totally better educated on on how the best way to to communicate and get to you know and, and get a better understanding. Of, what is there to understand? It, 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 I mean, <laughs> well, what, a, what do you have to try to find out how to communicate? If he says he is who he is, he is who he is. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I've never talked to him to ask him who he is. Who but he everybody is. around him said who he is. Hmm. Do, do they know him? Well, I mean, that's why I'm speaking to him. That's why I'm talking about. Okay, Lou, let's go this. So you got technical there. What do you think? How do you think you should uh, uh, approach him? I, I would ask first. What is your pronoun? Or I'd say hello, EJ. Like I said, hello, EJ. I Can wouldn't I get ask you? nobody the pronoun. Why? Why? Why do you feel that they have the pronoun? Because that's called respectful. If they're, if they're, if they, if they look, if they, I don't care how they look. If if you know it, there's a person that might be uncomfortable yeah. or it might be. Not in your vein. You say, "Excuse me, is there a certain pronoun you'd like for me to call, use?" And you we know, do that with our students. You, you do that. That's I just commend where we you. Are. I commend you for that, Lewis, because a lot of people in um, your generation, um, yes, does not respect that. Mm-hmm. Right? They're like they try to sweep it under the rug. They don't acknowledge it. But for you to, well, it's in my mm-hmm. house first. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Yeah. Also, it's important for me when I'm communicating, especially when you're and doing warm-up. And you're in the music up. business. Yeah, and when you're doing warm-up. I mean, not the music business. Yeah, you say he became a producer? No, when you're doing warm-up. <laughs> Entertainment you, you, business. You, you, how many times have people have said, who said that? Somebody told me a story where they said, uh, they said, hey, they made a mistake and said, hey, you, hey, he. And the person was like, no, I'm not a he. I was corrected a few times. We had a transgender here um, <clears> doing a <throat> podcast with somebody, and I kept referring to him as he and the host <laughs> kept correcting me it's she it's mm. she and i oh oh my bad bitch you know? right i mean it's just that's why in in our my situation what i do to cover myself is i say whenever i see a student coming up mm-hmm. if they're in sports care i say how you doing athlete or i say student mm-hmm. you so doing? you ask every individual you meet how they want to be introduced I, I mean if i know if i don't know it depends on what's going on if i'm in a situation where i'm working and I'm on the microphone, mm-hmm. then I would make sure I ask everyone who... That was, happened to us overseas, you know. Right, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, so yeah, yeah. I would say it's not every single person. But I'm but, saying, but you got to remember, though, and I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I'm saying this, when you look at a person sometimes and you see something differently, you, you're you just not thinking that's what, how I'm supposed to address them. But that's why it's at a point now in life where you need to think. No, a little, 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 hear me out a little. No, no, I'm just saying the individual. You, if I'm saying if someone walks in here... And you don't know if they look like a woman and they got all the surgery and everything. You say, hey, hey, how you doing? What, whatever the situation is, you're not going to it's not a mistake on your part. It's just you don't know. But that's what I'm saying. If a person walks in and they you're not sure if they're a male or female. First thing you should do is if you're going to address them is ask them their name. Well, if you're not sure, I agree. But like in my case, I was on stage. And it looked like a dude. So that's why but, I kept saying my man. But that's what I'm saying. So I, That's not a mistake on my part. Well, it's it's, a, okay. it's not because you cause, cause, because we've all been on stage, and if you if you Hilarious. address someone and you're not knowing, I didn't yeah, know, but it's your it. responsibility as a person that's on the mic and in charge and talking to make sure you get it right. Absolutely, that's I, your responsibility. Otherwise, why am I paying you? You're the one that's Luke, being paid. You're telling me that if you're on stage and you're in the middle of a situation and you look at someone that looks like a dude. And you go, hey, my man. And then you find out it's a woman. I mean, a woman. A, well, I don't know. Well, you know, it find out that it was a woman, but that's some that's gay. What are you going to say? Right. As so a, you can't, as, you can't no, hold that against yes, yourself. Yes, you can. If no, you're a, can't. Okay, you can. But I'm okay. saying, and, and trust me, if you were at a higher level, you would. Absolutely. You Man, would. You, you would. Level? I was, yeah, I'm, I'm high level. Means if you run in, if you have a talk show. Okay. If you're if you're a person, a public figure. Okay. And you're on stage. Okay. And you say, hey, yo, what's up, my man? And you haven't. You're talking, what's up? How you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Not, hey, what's up, my man? How, you, how are you doing? If you specifically are picking someone out, come on, man. I mean, I'm, yes, I'm not your brain up. should be that alert. Man, well, I guess what well, it's not. If you say, yo, what's up, how you doing? Doing. And they say, me? Uh, yeah, who am I speaking with? Right. That's what I'm saying. I, I understand that, but you, you didn't do you that. Understand it, so but you won't do it. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. There's no way. So y'all telling me everybody on this panel right here is telling me you are all at that point where you're out somewhere and you see somebody. Maybe you say from the back. Say you see him from the back, and you go, "Oh, my man!" And you turn around as a woman. You gonna say that's that's okay. not your. Here's the thing. You're moving I'm the saying, No, post. I'm saying yeah. You move, I'm saying that if you're on stage with yep. the microphone okay. and you're entertaining people, 
then you should be up. You should be. You should. Your brain should work enough to know that I need in this day and age. I need to know what I'm saying and what's coming out of my mouth. Okay. Well. Okay. Especially if you're already given the the information that you were given about going to Japan. What information was I given? Well, I, you, you couldn't say N word. You make okay. sure you didn't say that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So what I'm saying well, is, well, yeah. well, hold on. That's true. But that's. No, and, and now the N word is now the pronouns are now becoming the N word. Okay, I hear you. Go to the wrong environment and say it. That's what I'm saying. You would make sure because what happens is even if you perform somewhere, if they are smart enough, they will tell you, "Hey, this is a rainbow room, so chill." And if someone told me that, I would definitely understand that. But I'm saying mistakes like that can happen. It's just, especially if you're on a spur of a moment and you're in the middle of a show but, or you're doing something. But that's what I'm saying. saying. You're a you're professional. Yeah, yourself. you're a professional. <laughs> <Shut> up, <TDP. laughs> so you're telling me that you're going to act like an amateur when you're a professional. Mm. TDP, that's not being that's not being an amateur. Uh, yes, Lewis, it is. If you, if Lewis, you're, so you're, you're trying not, to say when you make a mistake, no, I, you make a mistake okay. off the bat, you're an amateur? But no, what yeah. I'm saying yeah. is that but that's a mistake that you prob- you should be aware of it's not to make. mistake. Yes, you should not make. All right, I hear you. Okay, so what am I in? Mine's is different. What? Because when they come to the club and they got the heels on, the lip gloss, fingernails. It's ma'am. And it's, <laughs> it's ma'am. And then I'm like, yo. And I look at the ID. Larry. Got the, be- <laughs> got the beard. And I look and I check specifically M. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, you got to raise your hand. got to pat you down. And I'm like, oh, no, you're not touching me. That's interesting. All right, let's call her. You would be sensitive and understand that. That's the, don't nah. say. Yeah, you would. So that's your that's your business. You're not going to be rude to a customer. You're going to talk. Man, hold and up. If they want to be not there. No, when I tell them, it's like, yo, in order to come in, you have to be padded. Right, and then they would say, okay. Then you would say, no, hopefully, no, 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 no. Then not say, no. You're not touching me. Right. Then you would hopefully say, can a female t- pat you down? No, I don't. All right. I that's on you. Say. Then they don't come to the club. Exactly. There you go. Go ahead, call her. Hey, Lou, it's me, EJ. I want to say I had a wonderful time the other night. <laughs> Who is this? Who do that? It's Jay. It's Jay. It's oh, me, EJ. It is it's not EJ. EJ. So is. come on, man. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. It's disrespectful. You're not EJ. Get Be, be better. Be better. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's mocking him. It's comedy. No, it's not. It is. It's not funny, because EJ you. is funnier than to that. You, Why is he mocking his voice? Oh, that's not how EJ talks. Man, so, Luke, I mean, you, Luke. So, don't you think it, that's a little more being sensitive? Is someone calling in there joking oh. on it? What's wrong with that? Well, because it's. No, I mean, but, we're, but, we're, but we do comedy on here as well here. as, huh? Look who's being sensitive. You no, need to sit I'm here. just saying. To me, I don't think it's. Well, I'm funny. not sensitive no more. I left that in Korea. I don't think that's funny. So, again, good try. Now, my thing is, would he do that? In front of EJ. He might. No, he wouldn't. So how do you Punk feel ass. about this? So how do you feel about this now? Now they calling for the removal of... I know, I heard that. Yeah, a she's got to have that in her report, right? I didn't hear what you said. What, yeah, what you they're trying to they move with the Franklin re- song, yeah, A Natural say, Woman. Now they're saying that but no woman is all natural. <laughs> so you agree with that? <laughs> First of all, as, I've researched that it's parody. It's not even a real... Uh, source that that came from. Thank They've you. come out. They said it's a parody. Okay. People just took the ball and really ran, ran with, with okay. that. Which okay. is true, but you know what? Thank you, that's P, the, but that's the, the problem. Thank you, but that's the problem with social media because people putting things out there like that. And even though, like you said, it's a parody, there's going to be someone within probably that group that's going to feel that way, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you got to admit. Well, people. One thing we know: people can feel the way they want to feel. It's just like she nah, said. No, but, but but if you can say that, but you just you you the one that kind of just said. Would you have agreed? <laughs> yeah. What would I agree to? What? Because you just said that you got to make sure that you are sensitive to everybody. Right, and situation. I said people are going to feel the way they want to feel, and that's the beauty of our business is we have somewhat of some control of a group of people when we're making them laugh, feel a certain way. Okay, but my question to you is oh. because of the way, even though it's a parody, what she said. If that was the case, you would probably agree with it, right? What, that the natural woman? Yeah, that, that should be taken down. No, that song was written in 19, what, 68? But it doesn't make a difference. If they don't yeah, feel uncomfortable. Make, if they feel, said it, Luke. No, but they, I'm not singing that song to them. It's a song. If they feel uncomfortable, I'm not saying, hey, you, the, the yo, my man, I feel uncomfortable nah, with no, Anita. Yeah. That's nah. what I'm saying is not right. I'm not. You're, I, that, you're, okay, you're going back to my point. I must ask you a question on this song part because you 
obviously agree that if someone feels sensitive about it, you've done it a number of times with certain things. I'm asking you just a question. If someone feels sensitive about what? That song. Would you, you, you would agree. I said they have the right to feel that way. I that didn't ask you, I'm song. asking you how would you feel, Lou? About you, that song? Yes. Do I think that song affects people? Should it be removed? Because if, cause you, cause you're the one, you are one that will go with, if someone doesn't feel comfortable with a certain situation, then you believe that that's their right and you believe that that should be done. So I'm asking. No, I did not say that should be well, done. Well, you said it. No, no, you, no. Chill, yeah, chill, yeah. chill of what you think I'm saying okay. because that's okay. not what I'm saying. What, what saying? I said that what you were going to do by saying my man and all that, he's like, how can I do that? Yes, as an entertainer, you can control what comes out of your mouth to your audience, mm -hmm. all right, and how it affects people. That's what I'm saying. So, in my. So, let, let me ask you this. So, you're doing your warm up. Yes. And that's part of a playlist from your DJ. What's part of a playlist? Natural Woman. Yes. Okay. Vast majority of them, they in there, they jamming and all that. Okay. One person stands up and says, Offended. I, I'm offended by that. And then, right. One person out of my 200 people in the audience says, yeah. I'm offended by yes. it. Okay, what, what's the problem? Oh, you didn't like that song? All right, fine. That song is over. Okay. We, 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 and now well, next no, well, week, how, how are we going to play that song again? Yeah. Now, next week. Now, if the person stands up and says that, hey, hey, you know what? Apologize. Didn't mean to offend you. Song's over. So then you I'd would, say you play would, another so Richard Franklin. You wouldn't play it next week. You wouldn't play, and you wouldn't play it next week. Yeah, I play it next week if that's if we decide to play, or we might okay. not. Oh, no, we no, might no, not. No, no, hold up. So next week comes. Mm -hmm. Person comes and everybody rocking. Another person gets up and say, "You know what? I'm totally offended by that." That's two people in two weeks. Now, so now the third week come up. Now, do you go to your DJ and say, "Cause you have a certain rhythm with right, them right. when you hit it." Now, do you go and say, "Yo, we're gonna pat, we're gonna bypass on that song this week," or do you? Keep, I, yo, here's the thing. I can because I have enough talent to do that. Mm. So, yes, I can do that. But what I would do, being that it's not about me, it's about the show, right. I'm going to my boss, the producer, and say, hey, this is what happened to my audience. What do you want to do? This is what you do. Mm -hmm. Just like a guy got fired, white boy, yeah. doing warm-up because he said that a girl's hair, a black girl's hair, was nappy. And he said, oh, it looks like a chia pet. Now that's funny, but the black one of the black writers on the black writers on that white show took offense to it. said, "Nah, I'm not having that. That's offensive." Right. Then the white boy guy said, "Yo, we're gonna go another direction." Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this question. Another one? Since, no, it's the same. It's on the same. <laughs> Since she said it, it was per. Uh, what did you say it was a uh, <laughs> uh, uh, poetess? What did you call it again? A About parody. the situation. A parody, a parody, right? Let me ask you this: If it wasn't one. Do you think the song should be removed remove off of Spotify? Say it was one. What do you feel on that one? Okay, first of all, I just asked you, Lou. And, and, and there's there's a there's not an absolute answer when okay. you answer the question when yeah. you ask the question. So what would I feel about my feeling or in reference to how they are feeling? I, See, I, that's the thing. You're asking me how I would feel. Should I? Should they I'm keep at, the yeah, song? So, so I'm asking you. Yeah, they should keep the song. Okay, if that's, that's their song. That's yeah, I'm not. Know. But if a person comes to me and says, "Hey, man." I'm not, I'm a, this song makes me feel uncomfortable when you play that during your warm-up. I'm saying this. I'm not talking about warm-up. They're talking about, if it was true, that they want to take that song off of Spotify and all of platforms. That's I, what they're saying, if it was true. I know what you're saying. You would have to take off a lot, a lot of songs. Of music. Exactly. That's so, the point I'm trying no. to make. So I'm I asking mean, you it shouldn't. Point. We can't control how people feel. feel. Exactly. You know well, I'm, I'm with y'all on that. I'm just saying. Right. Yes, but we can't control how they feel. I'm but, asking his opinion because no. Lewis... But, does but sometimes. you, for example, Lou, if you say, if someone, like you say, you doing warm up and they go, don't play that song, it makes me comfortable. But what if you playing another song uh, with a, a heterosexual female that might be misogynistic? So don't play that song either. Right, so that's you, the power. you unwinding a whole. Right, but that's the power of the yarn. consumer. Yeah. Who's, who you are performing for. But if we keep giving in to the consumer because every song is going to offend, you might as well not I'm have just, no music. I'm just no, I'm tired saying, of I'm, the bully agenda. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm with you. From the gay community. That, well, to my me, thing is, that's not cool. I mean, everybody has the right to be respected and have their feelings considered, period. Whether you're gay or straight or pro, whatever pronoun well, you want to call So what you're saying to I me agree, is, I agree with you, Paul. What you're saying to me is, if I go down West Hollywood in a convertible, Bump at natural woman. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get a ticket. <laughs> We're gonna get more than a ticket. You might get a beer thrown at you. <laughs> Turn it off, asshole. Uh, uh, you know what I think? All the um, transgender women are gonna be hey, they gonna love that shit because they feel like a natural woman. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question yeah, on that, Potus? Yes. How do you feel 
as a woman with the transgender people people saying allegedly alleged well they're saying it that they're you know they're women and they're kind of women are starting to feel like they're being natural I don't know how to say it, natural women whatever are feeling feel like they're being pushed aside because they're feeling like they're more women than women. I think people should be able to feel how they want to feel, dress how they want to be and whatever. But some things I do have an issue with when you are on um, getting uh, awards that were originally for women. I'm trying to think <laughs> of what, what was it was it? a Miss, um, not Miss America. It was a Miss U. It was some kind of award. I know I saw that one. I think it was like Sports Illustrated Woman of the Year, and they gave it to like Bruce Jenner yeah, or yeah, something time, like that. Time. that well, those, Serena Williams should have won. Those type of things yeah. I have an issue with. But in terms of people wanting to be trans and all that, please, it's, we should be in a world where they should be free to be who they want to be. Period. Without being but discriminated. Do, right. Again. But do you agree? Then that trans uh, people should be in women's sports. That too is the because swimmer. men biologically yeah. are different physically than women. So, so what happens when? Because it can happen when you get a man that's going to join like the NBA or the WNBA or something like that. I don't think women fair? should be playing football. I, it goes no, I'm not talking ways. about football. I'm talking about WNBA. I didn't say NFL. Lingerie ball. Exactly. Oh, with that, yeah. But you may get a transgender in person in that one. Do you do you agree? All right. Um, I, I think here's my issue with as far as us deciding what we feel or not feel about transgender. We're not. That's just like someone asking you, just like the whole thing about black African American. Why are they treating us so bad consistently? Why do we always get stopped? Why do they do this with us? What's going on with us? And then we will say sometimes, well, we need to stop killing each other. They're not killing us all the time, one of the points that you've made. So my point is that we can go on and on about, but my thing is what's happening with self? How are you dealing with yourself and how you treat people and what's important? And not saying, I don't care, forget them. You don't have to be sensitive to every... Well, you said I'm not. Not I me, because I didn't say that. No, I, no. I'm asking her. I, no, I, 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 did, I would say Dan, and if I wanted to say Dan. Okay, but you said mm. you just said you, mm. okay, you said you, that. What I'm saying is that you guys, some guys say okay, that, that okay. you said that. How am I supposed to stop myself from saying my man, my man? No, I did not, not say that. What did you I say? I said I did not say that. I said what happens when you 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 saying I should know not to make that mistake, and I said that can be a mistake that can easily happen on stage if you don't know and you're in the middle. Of a, a situation or a joke, right? I never. So did now, that. given so that, you, so you given that, you now, wait, wait, given that, okay. Knowing what you just said, okay. Knowing that could happen, yeah. As a professional, why wouldn't you prepare yourself to make sure it doesn't happen? And how do you do that? I, I go ahead. I'm just. Well, I, I mean, I'm a no, professional. I know how I would do it. How it, would you I'm do it? I'm a professional at mine when I do it, but when it comes when it's when I'm accosted by it, and then I have to just go by what's on the license. The license says male, right? They're showing you a doc, a government document. I'm talking about when you're on stage and you're talking to somebody. I'm but saying, no, what the is the responsibility of the entertainer who's entertaining the Lou, people? It could easily happen. You're, you're trying to, you're almost trying to make it. I'm feel not like, saying it's not. It can't happen. And I'm saying you talking, can prevent it from happening. I don't believe you can prevent it from yes, happening. You in, can. in the middle. Okay, so if you're on stage, if you don't, if you just randomly, really? and just if like, you're yeah. on stage and you, I not mean, I, I, I did it when the guy was here. No, but what I'm saying, saying no, but what I'm saying is, I'm on stage. If I'm on stage talking and I see somebody walking by, you're trying to tell me your brain is not clear enough to say, "Hey, how you doing?" Now, I'm looking look, at it, look, it looks look. like a man. Here's the, what you're saying. But given in today's society that there are men who look like women and women who look like men. So just don't address the gender at all. Yes, because you know you don't know. Okay, right. so that's what you're saying. But you can't act like that cannot happen because not everybody's going to yeah, think that. It cannot that. happen to the person who's not good okay. enough to do it. Well, then I may not be, have been good enough to do it at the time. Right. Because I'm just going to say it can happen. It's not being a disrespect yeah, to why anybody. Why can't be an honest mistake? Yeah, think, that's what I'm like, trying to say. Yeah. Yo, yeah, man. Yo, what's up, sir? I, oh, I get I you. That. Because oh, she man. laughed actually when it happened. Like everybody, and the funny thing about it, everybody in the spot laughed slightly because they knew her, but I, as a coming comedian, I didn't know. And I looked in the back, and the DJ and D-Lay and Dugar were laughing, and then she laughed. I said, hey, you know what? My bad. And it was like, it was made funny. But it can happen. I mean, I just feel like you're making it feel like 
I'm not putting your words in your mouth, but it's like it, it shouldn't happen and it can't. Well, no, I'm saying it can happen, but I'm saying if it keeps repeatedly happening, you're not doing your job as a comic well, if it to happens prepare that it doesn't time, happen. Yeah, but it did, yeah, okay. Rookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's. it's uh, time for this. I don't think you should keep making the same mistake like this to keep seeing the same voting report. I'm still waiting for the remix. Yeah. Where's the remix? Period. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. (laughs) Versus. Bad Barbie. Yeah. Brit Barbie. Brit Barbie. Brit Barbie. All right. Um, shout out again to Bruce Smith shout out um, Bruce. for inviting us Bruce to um, yeah, the right. uh, the um, rap party for the Proud Family, which the new season debuts February 1st on Disney Plus. Um, family friendly show. Um, Jeff didn't like it because it didn't have any shooting and drug dealing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you didn't like it? You're a no, snitch. I'm just kidding. You know, I'm it was kidding. Weird, I didn't, it I did have political com- commentary. I mean, you know, it was very political, but yeah, we can yeah, talk about it's that. really good. No, it was cool. Yeah. I mean, I mean what'd you think about that? I found out it's been a while, it's been around for a while, though. What? The Proud Family. Proud you didn't Proud. watch, oh, of course, you didn't watch it with Julius. No. Nah. That he wasn't your cartoon, it. huh? He didn't watch we it. We watched it as a family. Okay, it's a great well, cartoon. Is Tommy still on it? You had him watching The Sopranos. Exactly. I'm sure. Yeah. The Wire. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. The wire. He had his son learning the street. Bing, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He like, hey, he can have <laughs> shit that he can relate to. <laughs> yeah. He's, he had Jeff, Jeff had his son looking yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, 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 prepare yeah, himself for that. Jeff got his son listening to The Wire, but he's living in Beverly Hills. Exactly. Exactly. I'm on the corner. I'm on the block he's every a, night. He's, a, he's in a fine Where's neighborhood. Where's the fruit lady? Yeah, he's in a fine neighborhood Jeff making his son gangster. <laughs> hey, is I'm Tommy Davidson still on that show? Yes. Yeah, he's the. Oh, that's what was beautiful about it. Tommy was um, there. That's my man. And Marie. What's Kyla her name? Pratt. Joe Kyla Marie Pratt. Pratt. And what's her name? Joe Marie mm-hmm. Payton. Uh, Billy Parker. Porter. Billy Porter. EJ. EJ. Yeah. Oh, he's on it now? Yeah. EJ he's is he's one of the friends. Okay, so that was interesting in talking to. I asked. Bruce W. Smith about the ca- the gay characters that mm-hmm. he has. Um, they said in the first Proud Family they had a gay character, but it was in the closet. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one it was. I mm-hmm. didn't ask him that, mm-hmm. but it was gay. Now this one version, the character's out, and he said he specifically chose the blonde, buff, white guy as the, the husband, dad, yeah. as the dad, and then the was that Billy Porter? Yeah, Billy Porter, Billy Porter was yeah. the. And you see how he looked fat and yeah, and, heavy set, yeah. and heavy set and and. Well, he needs to work on their legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked him about terrible that definition. too. Oh, my God. No, he said that that because I thought that too. Two pick legs. But like, I think they're supposed to be distorted like that. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The cartoon yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm asking. Animation. I didn't know. I'm saying. Yeah. I was just. Go- I mean, I know you know everything technically. Mm. No, I don't. no, I mean, as far as film and stuff yeah. like that. But I, I thought that. That character was interesting. That now they're, he said that they can be out now. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah. He said he had to fight for his character because mm. the people, powers that be, didn't know him. How did they not know How Cedric? They, they don't know. But that's they don't know. You know from being in that writers' room, <laughs> okay. and that's what I was telling you. And that's Bruce why Patrick knows. Ewing didn't know. I mean, he knows. Yeah, and Bruce knows because yeah. he was saying that also now, the writers don't get the normal writers thing in the writers' guild. They don't, get, they don't get uh, residuals and none of that. Well, I they think it's credit. now it's just like he don't know more, but I think it's just like the head writer yeah. is compensated. So he, and everybody so else is just, just like. But it's, I mean, it's a three-year gig. You can't mm-hmm. go wrong. It's, it's just a great gig. And, and then, you know, it's got to see Stacey McLean there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's got a <laughs> She's got a white boyfriend. A little white boyfriend. Stacy McLean? Yeah. It's embarrassing. She got tired. My girl Stacy? Yeah, we got mad. She had a white boy? And, and he think he and he think he must think she Lonnie Love. Oh, <laughs> oh, damn. You know, it's kind he of must think that it she was make kind a of, of a little tiny bit awkward when she introduced him to oh, us. And we just <laughs> a kept riding bit, him. Like, we kept riding. I had to correct him. I was <laughs> yeah. like, yo, you got to stop introducing him as your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, Jeff went hard on him. He's like, he's a full grown man. Right. Introducing me and say, this is my man. Yeah, it's my man. Yeah. And, and he, was, and he was like, Stacey. I like that. I like that. I like that. And he was like happy. That, yeah. He was happy that he was with that black girl. Mm. And just They all are. Oh, all right. Anyway, oh, let's wow. go into. I'll, I'll leave that one alone. You know, since we're starting the battle your right now. Over, is your cigar meeting is becoming a mailman? Now, now here's the interesting thing. At at the cigar thing, I pitched you two. 
Oh, not me. What happened to me? Well, no, this is well, my pitch. Guy was there, so I couldn't really mention your name too much. No. <laughs> no, no, you didn't think about pitching no, me, but no, it's all good. No, I didn't pitch him either. Yeah. It was him. All right, so my so, first story. Damn, well, no, she, okay, go ahead. Damn, she's doing what you do, Lou. This is her segment. Yeah, you right. said she do what you did, Lou. <laughs> my fault. Hold Just on. break. Shut up. It's my turn. Go All ahead. right, so a woman of um, internet influencer claimed she paid ten thousand dollars for surgery to restore her virginity. Mm. What? A Miami woman is claiming she underwent hymen reconstruction surgery. Because she wants to have sex like it's the very first time. <laughs> oh, wow. Influencer Julia Maderos explained she endured the $10,000 procedure because she wasn't happy with the way she popped her cherry <laughs> <laughs> when she was 17, that it was not pleasurable. It was with an older guy. So now she... Um, if the guy she claims deceived her and oh, promised to oh, marry yeah. her. Blame the man again. Here we go. <laughs> All right, now hold on. Here Let we us go. guess if she's white or black. I said her name, so I think she she's might Italian. be Latina. Mader oh. Madarios. How old is she now? She's 22 years old now. Mm -hmm. okay. too much. And it's such a mean joke or deep joke that could be said about say her. Say it. Why does it mean? Not mean. It's, okay, it's, say, it's mean. Yo, it's painful. Why? Because it's, it's that kind of joke. But you know what? I think that <laughs> surgery is pretty common these days, though. See, see, but Can y'all tell a new coochie from an old one? No, the joke was. <laughs> <laughs> tell the class. So, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. That, okay? Yeah. All right, so now you see why I said it that way? All right. Uh, okay, okay. I'm with you. Okay. But it's a good, it's a, it's a, you got to be the right comic to tell that joke. Understood, uh, Like yeah. Corey Holcomb. Yeah. Can you tell it? Or, no, no, I wouldn't. No, that's probably wouldn't not, I probably wouldn't think about it. He wouldn't tell it. I, that's how sick I am. But Corey Holcomb would do that joke. I could tell it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeff. You, if you told it, Jeff, you'd be like covered off his, with a gun yeah, behind. Yeah, don't, don't. We trying to sell the show. Don't, don't, don't do it here. It's just fuck the show. All right, go ahead. Give me the joke. All right, give me the joke. All right, it ain't been sold in eight yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what's funny though? Ah! Uh, now here's the problem. Uh, I, here's the problem I have with that pose. What? With, what? With, with, with her? Okay, she's doing it, but now if someone says something, it's like, well, what she's doing is such a great thing. But how many times did she get hit before she decided to go ahead and say, you know, what, I want to be a virgin again? It's different if you do it one time. I can see that. But I, how many times do you think? In my opinion, mentally. you can never be a virgin again. Exactly. You can never be a virgin again. I don't care what you did with your vagina. <laughs> you you can never yeah, recapture that moment again. Why do people why do people real. feel why do people feel like that's a why would that be newsworthy? Because she's an influencer? Yeah, I mean, but the again, uh, I think a lot of women are no. doing what's called Taiwan. um vagina rejuvenation but they right. it's called labiaplasty mm. who who my question who and the they first? said that um <laughs> the demand for labiaplasties doubled in one year alone he reported this doctor reported 50 in That's 2021 that he did himself my question is and he says he oh. blames it on clothes light uh leggings and tights um, that alter the lips of the vagina, which I didn't. Wait, so you play, so they play in the clothes for, for for them getting the hymen broken? He said hymen broken. Well, some people's <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Great lips Julian. probably look <laughs> like pastrami. I mean. He said get hymen broken <laughs> <laughs> with no pickles. That was, hey, hey, that was a, that was his first class at Ohio State. <laughs> hymen broken. <laughs> you know where I heard that from? No lie. Um, Bo Jackson. <laughs> Bo Jackson said that to me one time. We were playing golf. Heimie he said, I got broken. a Heisman trophy for for, for uh, tearing up Jaime. Jaime oh, broken. I thought that's something Herschel Walker would say. All right. hmm. Okay. Hilarious. Yes. Okay, so um, next. So can, we, so can we tell the joke? <laughs> move on? Yeah, we're moving. What so where'd you get that surgery? I didn't. Uh, no, I don't need it. Oh, okay. She don't care. That's not pop right. That coochie out there. Hey, hers is, in the, hers is sativa. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, the thing about it, though, she can't talk about it, though. Like, you can't get that surgery and they go like, yeah, I'm a virgin. You're going to be like 35 dudes. Man, I tore your ass up last night. They're going to come and try to break it again. Yeah. All right, yeah, Jeff, that... what was your joke? No, your joke. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
All right. Yeah, let's, let's, anything that. else? Okay. Is that Stacy McLean? Stacy McLean joined. Okay, so, so here's we just talking about your done. boyfriend. I know. I was just saying no, okay. her man. Um, I saw this on the internet. There's been a lot going on about um black women who use perms that mm. they're finding in research that it's um causing fibroids and uterine cancer. Mm, mm, mm. I found this interesting. This lady here is giving her three year old a perm. What for? Is this right? I, I need some parents to call it's in dead and say wrong. if they approve of this. What is going Man, on with our people? happening with that kid. That kid's shit going to be whipped like mine. No, I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying but why even the kid is three? Like, why does the kid have to have a perm at three years why old? Why not? Because why? parents think why? that they, they think that these kids are these grown. These parents are tri- these. I don't know. What, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm an old fogey on this one, but come on. The kid hey, is three years old. My seventh grade prom, oh, okay. I went to the prom like super fly. My mm. shit was whipped. But hey, guess what grade? Seventh real, grade. Okay. This is a three-year-old baby. So, I'm I'll sorry, real it. quick. Uh, 323, what is the number? 323. 815-4204. If you are a parent, let us know if you approve of this okay. type of thing. 323-815-4204. I, I, uh, eight, eight, Okay, Another uh, question I uh, want to throw out there for the ladies that are listening. Does size matter? And here's a lady saying that it does. Your boyfriend? Uh-huh. Financially stable. Okay. Respectful. Okay. Good looking. Okay. Provides for you. Okay. Small penis. I would never get with a man with a small penis in my so, life. So, so wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You did, wait, 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 wait. You did all of these things. You found out he has a great personality. I don't care. Financially I do not care. Now he gets to the bedroom and he's like, yeah, because you can't say you wouldn't get with anybody with a small penis. I wouldn't get with nobody you with a small penis. Know penis. Know small I know that. I know this. I know this. <laughs> I, I soon, I, as soon as I realize there's no penis there, mm-hmm. oh, like no, okay, okay, there's okay, no relationship. Okay, okay. And if I stay there, okay, first of all, I'm using. You're not even checking the room, the temperature of the room. You got four men here, and you want to put a thing about small penis. <laughs> We're not going to comment well, on that. Well, maybe her pussy big. I'm just saying. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean like, we should uh, if you, you in this one, If you listen, I addressed this to the women listening to the show right, today. Right, I didn't but address it to you. We don't need to hear you. that. Thank you. It's a man's world. You need to yeah. address that. Send them each a text yeah. about the little tiny thing. And well, that ain't about it being small. Is, Maybe it's no, your pussy no, bigger no. than the First of all, for but a girl, we to, get up there, for a girl to get up there and talk about that shows <coughs> you how nasty she is. Look at the picture they showed. <laughs> Look at she her. had her titties nasty. hanging out. And Who would take her opinion? Who cares? I agree with you, Lou. It's just ugly and nasty. If you was small in the club, when he's holler. Pota's, Pota's been slipping lately with some of her videos, y'all. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's go. Hit dog barks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my penis is not small. That's what she wanted. But I'm that's just, exactly that's, that's what, that's she what I'm saying. We, we, it's we like we did it. All right, next video. Like, oh, we're staying on big breasts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Respect your breasts. Yeah. Yeah. Pop taking them off. <laughs> 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 All right. You notice how. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle was not letting him go. Man, I'm on my pill, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that blue pill has kicked in. <laughs> Woo! Kicked Bless in. his heart. <laughs> Uncle was doing okay. Man, I got one. Come one, one come all. I got him. <laughs> you, have, you, you got another one, POTUS? Ooh, let's go. Yeah, the, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, okay. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next video. I know it's gonna be positive. This guy is walking around with a beehive on his arm. What country is that? No, that looked like the same neighborhood the kids had to <laughs> the ride. <raccoon> <laughs> <laughs> like, I got something better for all y'all. Ain't nobody going to approach him. Question is, how do he get off? Because the minute you try to get one off, they're going to start stinging you. And he walking so cool, got his shades on, like what? Is that a really one, or is it like a, a sleeve? No, nah, I think that's, those are bees. I like Brazil. Yeah, that's yeah, not American. House. Yeah, it doesn't look uh, like uh, that. Uh, maybe he was going to get some honey or something. I don't know. Hey, he's a mm. bee whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, he's in the spelling that, bee. He's a Rujan of Wu-Tang. <laughs> right there, boy. Dude, got the swarm on Kill his own. Kill a bee. Man. He's the original beehive. Playoffs? 
Let's uh, talk about Thank you. Playoffs? Something that I want to talk we about. We just talk about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. If I wish one of your guys had children, if I could kick them in the fucking head or stomp on their testicles, for you to feel my pain, because that's the pain I have. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass. You do shit. Come on, we look like the damn bad news bears. I miss him. Tita Sports Ticker is sponsored by Little Weenies. Oh. <laughs> Niggas falling off the balcony. <laughs> the I'm cool. I'm cool. Bad pronouns. Keep going. Let's get right into it. How about them? Eagles. Cowboys lost. Oh, the Cowboys. Oh. Oh, was On the road in 49ers backyard. To the last pick hey, of the wow. draft. Purdy put on a beautiful job through no interception. Cowboys, when Pollard went down and run the back, that was, that was pretty much it. That was a wrap. That was uh, it, man. Dak Prescott, he got paid. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott got paid. And, and he didn't play. Wow. Now, do you go back to Cooper Rush? Or do no. you get rid of Zach? Do you get rid of Dak? No, you got to keep him. You got, you got too much money in Dak. Yeah. You can't. One thing about the NFL they very, very seldom going to take the loss when it comes to a contract. They're going to play you. Absolutely. Yeah, but if you're not producing, though. NFL's different, man. That here's money, the thing. is yeah. like if, if we're going to bring in a backup quarterback. You're going to give him right. And we, to get you up out of there, we got to get you hurt. So Yeah, that's the same to, thing with Tony Romo. Yeah, yeah. you got to go that same way. With it. You know, that my whole thing has been like, okay, you got to take that loss. It's just like when y'all won and y'all had Carson Wentz and then Nick Foles took y'all. Yeah. And then the next season coming in, then you give Carson Wentz his job back. I would have been like, fuck that. Right. But you had to give it to Wentz because no. Wentz – no, let me tell you why, though. That's different, though. I understand Wentz, the money in it. No, no, now you ain't talking about the money with that. When the Eagles won that year, Wentz had, was balling out through the whole year to that, to that uh, Rams game because I was at that mm-hmm. game when he got hurt. Yeah. So, so the difference is they didn't have a problem with Wentz the whole year. They've been having problems with Dak. Off and on throughout this year. I was like Drew Bledsoe right. and um, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. Bledsoe, Bledsoe was balling. Hurt. He was balling. But Brady came in yep. and did the job and he yeah. was off and running. It's time to move on. After that. But you know what happened? But you do know that same year, Brady got hurt before that playoff game and Bledsoe played, but they still gave the starting position in the Super Bowl back to Brady when he got healthy. Absolutely. So that's the difference between, I believe, with Dax and the situation you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Dak's been off and on this year. So now we got the Eagles versus the 49ers. What up, Lou? Give me some skin, brother. Come Kansas on. City Chiefs taking Eagles. on. Who's right, Kansas City playing? Win next? Okay. 49ers. <sighs> Kansas City. Chiefs playing the Bengals. Yeah, the Bengals. That was a good game. I got the Bengals like, winning. Jackson I got the, yeah. Go. Hold on, let me read this. Jacksonville should have beat, beat Kansas City. Teeter sports ticker. They, they they should have, but... You're supposed to know that's the Cincinnati Bengals. You got one job. I on. can't remember that. All right, cool. The whole thing. Steelers ain't in, so he don't care. It, pretty much. Oh, one. Oh, hey, Juan, you got that video for me, P? Suffers fan. Politically right. You need to say. add that. I want to show you this. I had that he, one too. He ran him That's down. That's called like, track and field. Damn. He, he ran him down like he was had a purse in his hand. I'm gonna get my first <laughs> touchdown ever. I'm gonna get a girlfriend. And... Nah, hey, homie. Hey, that boy's daddy said if you let anybody score on you, <laughs> anybody you ain't coming home. Chase him now down we from the back. Athletic hit allegedly. Would he have caught you? Oh, yeah, he caught me earlier than that. Uh, mm. I wouldn't have made it that far. Nah, he wouldn't have caught me. Actually, I would have zigzagged. I would. He'd have never caught me. I yeah, would gotta give him the angle. I was yeah, attracted. You gotta give him the angle. So I gotta give him no, the angle. The challenge was to be straight ahead. No, you gotta. You're taught that. You are running straight. You go on the angle. You, I, so you can I score. I know you taught that. Right. Mm. But I'm saying the personal challenge straight ahead. See, that's why people like you don't score. No, I would have scored. No, you wouldn't. Mm. I would have scored. He caught you just like you. No, you're that dad. Scored. You told that son to do the same thing. No, run I'd straight. Out of score. Out of. You told your no. son run straight, and your yeah, son came back home and looked at you. And I'd have been like, yo, you gotta get speed up. 
So me. If old boy, no, boy, if boy, old boy in the boys in the hood would have ran a little crooked, he would have got, <laughs> he got nah, that was a shotgun. Yeah. He's going to get something. Nah, he should have ran a little. You know, he ran straight. He's going to get one of those pellets. He's going to USC. That is funny, though. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. <laughs> Yo, man, he running too straight. He's running too straight, Ricky. though. Yeah, he's yeah. like, come on, Ricky. I was like, you supposed to go. You want to be a running back at that? Oh, you dying. Going to USC? Right. Come on, he man. didn't even catch one of those bullets and run. Yeah. He blew that. He blew that one. I swore I was thinking that when he was running. Yes, he was like, we blew a whole scholarship. On this nigga. I nigga that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't get the scholarships back because somebody died. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you lose that one. Chalk it up. All yeah. right. Anything else? I want to know since um, the 49ers have a great tight end, what you going to do about it? Because I never heard anything about you got this linebacker. Um, this whole playoff and run. So, yeah, first educate, of all, educate him. First With of George all, George Kettle. F- yeah. First of all, the kettle is hot right now. Man. The Eagles front four. Okay. They gonna have to get. They gonna have to deal with that. Our linebackers are decent. Our DBs. We have two of the top five DBs in the league. Okay. Yeah. So, I believe what's going to happen is that first of all, they're not going to let this kid sit back like Dallas right. did. He's not going to sit back there being comfortable. Okay. That's the first thing I believe. Bring some pressure. Yes, I believe that the Eagles are going to pressure him all day. I believe that they'll either put. I think the downfall is going to be this weekend. I believe that mm. they're going to put one of the. I think they're going to either put a, either the fastest linebacker who I forgot who his name is, or one of the DBs on Kittles. Run it. They only have really one one wide receiver. Really. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. You know, here's the deal. San Fran has got to come to Philly. Cold weather, and a fan base that is not ready to lose. I predict. Not a blowout, but a very comfortable win. Comfortable win. Okay, yes. I'll take that. Cut three. Let's go to the NBA. Mm. Lakers. Looking good. Whooped on them uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Shannon Sharp about to put hands <sighs> oh, man. on the whole Memphis Grizzlies squad. Don't be apologetic shit. He needed to. <laughs> Why? He's, He's a wrong. public figure. He was dead wrong. Oh, God. He was wrong? He was dead wrong. Okay. Look, you can't, look no matter what a player says to you as a fan, He's at his job, first of all. Shannon Sharp has a responsibility as a announcer. Like, no, no, like no, I put, no, no, no. I'm, go ahead. I'm coming to see the game. I'm coming to yeah. see you do your job. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, but, but Shannon made the thing of saying that if you, he stated on his show once that you being in the st- fan in the stands doesn't, doesn't give, give you the right. right. Yes, sir. Talk I all that, that trash and all yeah. that. Da, 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 da. It, it doesn't give you him. the right, but you can still do it. Yeah. But he shouldn't have. Even even his apology, I said, if somebody says something to you, then okay, just that's they said something to you. But he tried to be gangster with it, and I don't think oh, he was trying. No, he did. No. No, I'm saying, I'm not. You know what I mean? I mean, he was being gangster oh, yeah, with he it. Could, no, he could ask for all that smoke, but when he's dealing with dumb cats, yeah, what's wrong with no, that? He's supposed to beat them up. Why is he supposed to? Because my man is like a this big. Jim but he Rod, was, John Moran's dad think he usher. <laughs> Let me say something. Yeah, he's doing too much. Shannon Sharp is the last couple of weeks has put his name out there in bad terms. And you can say what you want, but them suits, they're not gonna keep having that. They're not gonna keep having that. You go to a Laker game, he look, that's why he had apologized. There were people on social media talking about, yeah, yeah, Shannon was right. No. You how you just gonna, you know, you're cursing, you're you're talking there's people around you, even if the players are going back and forth. Talk about the professional people that are around you looking at okay. you. Okay, so oh. now I'm going to piggyback on that point, what you just made. Mm-hmm. Then that's what I was saying about you as the entertainer and the professional mm. have the same responsibility. It's different. Oh. How is it different? Because he knows them. I made an honest mistake of what the what national, what <laughs> gender the person was. Okay, so now. now <laughs> oh, you made an honest so let's mistake. Take it from, I got you. <laughs> Dang. So let's keep it on the conversation because this is where you come in. From the the fan and the spectator to the athlete, not did LeBron have the right to say what he said to the Grizzlies? Said? Yeah, he was in the game. He's yeah, playing against him. But you was like all that, you know. What he's talking? Uh, rah, rah. No, no, yeah, wait. No, that's a fan. You, but no, before you was like, yo, we ain't got to talk. When I was saying that, when I play, we talk shit. Right? We talk shit. Yes, that's pros can talk as much as they want. They pros. But we talked it in college in high school. Okay, too. but right. and, and okay, Street college ball. you could talk trash yeah. and division you could talk division one trash, division two trash, division three trash. High school, you can you can talk you can talk starters trash, you can start bench trash, and you can start never play trash. Mm-hmm. So that's the levels. You can talk that trash. Mm-hmm. LeBron is at the pro, and he's, he backed up. He said, hey, you make a bucket first before you start yeah, talking trash. Exactly. They should all, all of them should be mic'd up. 
I don't think they should be mic'd up. I love hearing them mic'd yeah. up. Oh, no, I love it. But yeah. I think that... Gary Payton was the best at it. Was he? The best, yes. Oh, he talked. Was yes. better than Jordan? Hey, Jordan yes. used to talk Larry to Bird was the beast. Larry Bird, Larry Bird was the beast. No, what's it called? He's starting to come out, and I always love him, too. Who? Who? Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah. Oh, yeah. Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Zeke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were bad boys back then. Oh, oh no pun intended. basketball. Okay, go ahead. Hut Ford. That was Teeter Sports ticker. You got to make sure he's well, can, watching can, TDP, sports. real quick, though. Can we get a... You didn't ask anybody's prediction for the weekend, though. I want it after the, uh, after the game. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go back to it. All right, all right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I go with the Eagles and the Bengals. Hey, Stacey McClain. And I'm going to do a call back. Uh, I don't care. Okay, Stacey McClain, call us at 323-815-4204. It might be her. Because she said, if you want to talk about a sister, at least invite a sister down, poet, so she must come so down. Uh oh, you must have. Uh, she must have. Call her, you're on the oh, air. So talked about her boyfriend. Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. All right. All right. Yeah. Now you can use your man voice, but go ahead. Oh, that's a good one, little dick. What are you anyway, say? little dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, little dick. <laughs> wow, Who is this? Who is it? Uh, Sylvester out of Orlando. Hey, what's up, Orlando Sylvester? Sylvester. What's up, what Sylvester? What's going on, man? Alone. What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, to the little dick thing, you can just get your wife Hyman redone, and you'll be straight. Oh, mm. wow. Wow. Hey. All right, I think we've. You I should think, just hang up now. Yeah, he no, listen, we've, he listens we've to the spoken show. to Sylvester before, yeah. mm-hmm. and Sylvester gave us yes. some great information because, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. he he is. Um, yes. You're gay, yes. right? Oh, yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, he gave that's it. low. I, that's that was a good one. No, are you? That I don't know. Really no, he has a son. Oh, he, man, he I'm a cowgirls fan. That's I'm a cowgirls fan. Cow. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, I got you. I'm sorry. Then and I take that back. Then you're just yay. You're not gay. You're yay. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, an yeah, honest yeah, mistake. Yeah. But you're supposed to be professional when you're supposed to go ahead and, and go. No, wait, wait. And what did nah, I say? Nah, I nah, said nah. I asked him. You did not ask him. I did. I asked. I said, wait a minute. Are you gay? What is that? Isn't that a question? No, but that's an assumption. No, you, yeah, you made a statement. Thank are you, I said, yeah, you. are you gay? No, you said it. Are you gay is the question. Mm-mm. Help me out, Jeff. 2023, you can't say that. You can't Sylvester, say that. what happened with your cowboy? You can't yeah. say that no more. You can't say that no more. You can't ask somebody to say gay no more. Mm. No, not in, the, not in the corporate world. I don't think anywhere. It's 2023, you, right? You can't well, what happens if you meet somebody at the club? You can't ask nobody I can that? ask. Look, if we laying down together, hey. I can ask you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if we, the hey, yeah, if I, if, if, I, if you roll it over and I'm rolling over, I can say, hey. <laughs> I'm bigger. I'm on top. <laughs> all right, hey, Sylvester, first of all, how are you? Happy New Year. Say, I was going to say, but I don't want to see the joke, though. What? <laughs> Let me be frank. No, you was frank last night. <laughs> <laughs> frank and beans, dude. Frank and balls. <laughs> Jeff is balls and frank. I was a low. Jeff hit that low ball, and it was a stand-up triple. There you yeah. go. No, it's hey, a home run. Hey, no, it's a stand-up Inside the triple. No. no, I either went home. Okay, Sylvester did Jeff laugh. So Jeff, that's a, he's I, Jeff and Luke can't even yeah, agree on a good. A, a, a hey, Sylvester. Yes, first sir. of all, how uh, happy New Year! Happy New Year to you guys as well. Happy New Year, man. Now, sorry how, for how, your cowboy loss. Yes. yes. Oh, TDP, Happy New Day. I'm sorry. Oh, happy wow. New Day, TDP. Absolutely. Oh, he don't go New Year no more. I mean, yeah. So, uh, let me ask you a question, Sylvester. How was your year last year, and how are you and your family feeling? What's What's up with you? It's all good. It's all good. Other than the cowgirls losing, you know. Mm. Yeah, you sound like you're in a good that. place. Huh? He you sound closet. like you're in a good place. That you're happy. He in the closet. Yes. <laughs> now, yes. why? What you do know, you think? You what's what's attributed to that? Tragedy. What what's a tri- what do you attribute that to? Uh, I'm just a happy person, man. Just a happy person. Nothing, because Dannon came in today, and Dannon said he was in a great mood, and he's been in a great mood since he got back from Japan. So he's riding that goodness, right? Yes, sir. You're correct. So now our, it seems like you're doing that as well. Yes, sir. H- how do you do that? I don't know. How, how do you it's say just, you're a happy person? Happy. With all these unhappy people around, how, how do you get up and like, you make a point, I'm happy today? What, is, what, what helps you get to that? Honestly... Honestly, I just, I got to say it, um, <laughs> just say it. Thank you for the music. Wow. That's I'm all I'm cute, too. Where the come from? I don't know. I don't know. I guess she's, just, she's trying to <laughs> enhance the joke. I, I, I just don't. 
She's a music person. That's so yeah. fast. Okay. She does what she wants to yeah, do. Yeah, right there's here. music people always think that things are better if there's an underbed of music, yeah. which is cool. Makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Not that one though, but yes. Oh, that's just a happy. Okay. Oh, that's the happy song, I guess. Oh, I got it. She was connecting your name, being uh, Sylvester. Sylvester. We did yeah. not know that was. I knew that. I knew you knew that. that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm with you, yeah. Sylvester. I didn't know either. But okay. Sylvester, what's your football team? Who since you, you hate the Cowboys? Huh? Since you hate the Cowboys, <laughs> what's your team? I don't hate the, cow- He's the a Cowboys. Cowboys fan. are my team. I just hate that they lose all the time. Boy. Doesn't he have kids? Well, yes. Yeah, his son. Yeah. Yes, how, how, I do have kids. How, how, how old are your kids? Uh, I got a two-year-old and a ten-year-old. Oh, oh so you're young. Talk about the hair thing too. Oh, so, so that's where you, your happiness is. So how do you feel year-old. about what the census said down there about you know taking out um, African American doesn't have an educational value? Uh, that's part of the love-hate relationship I got with the census. Okay. Sometimes he does good, sometimes he does wrong. It's just hey. Mm. Oh, I respect that answer. Now, brother. what were you going to say? You said what? Now you were going to say that. Uh, go ahead. The, the hair thing. Yes, go ahead. Perm. So my daughter's three year three years old, okay. and uh, I wish my wife would try to put a perm in her hair. Exactly. Okay. Why? It's not happening. Why? Because no, it's not. It's, it's, it's just bad for your hair. It's bad for your hair. I mean, natural hair is natural. Black hair is is beautiful. Absolutely. I'm saying mine is gorgeous. I, <laughs> no, that that whole perm. I'm with you, Sylvester. <laughs> I would totally you. agree. We and you a, <laughs> you're not supposed to cut the baby's hair for a year. All that stuff plays. Well, they cut your hair obviously when you came. And out. doesn't now, a perm the thing, doesn't right. a perm hurt? Here's the thing, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. My ten year old son, I let him get an ass curl. What? Because his hair is it just it wasn't right. <laughs> it just, it just wasn't right. How's your hair? Hey. Every style other than dread. His head, the shape, it's just not right. Sylvester <laughs> said straight up. <laughs> what you say, Sylvester? It just wasn't right. How's your hair? It wasn't right. How do you wear your hair? Yeah. How's, yeah. Man, I, I'm team bald head. Oh, okay. I'm okay. with you. But you know what? Team bald head. <laughs> it just wasn't right. What a great. Yeah. It just wasn't right. So the S curl put him in the game? Yeah. The S curl put him in the game. Got a little confidence about himself, a little swagger now. For okay. A okay. Old. Hey, you know. Oh, okay. Hey man, hey! But isn't that bad? Shirt for your collars hair? are terrible, but hey, yeah. Right. Right. Isn't that bad for your hair? Cause like I believe what hurt us as, as men is that when we were younger, especially our generation, we used to use um, that you know wave that wave grease, Murray's clo- grease, Murray's grease, yeah, and yeah. it clogged up your pores and everything. So that's why a lot of us went bald. So isn't S yeah, curl is that dangerous I, I, for your your son? I think. Well, see, the thing is, me and my wife talked about it, and she got a light one. And she says that she only is probably going to do it maybe three times, and hopefully it just train his hair to be different, hmm. to, to grow thinner or something, she was saying. All right. So we, <laughs> I don't think that's going to Tell you change. anything. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Sylvester, I really appreciate you taking the time to call out. Thank man. you, man. Thank you. Let me just All say right, y'all something. Have a good day. Y'all from the... Yeah, for the night for the beach, y'all. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. Stop smoking crack. There you go, Sylvester. Yeah. There you go. I think he was gay. And for the fans no, I, out there listening and all that... <laughs> Yo, go ahead. Go ahead, man. No, don't. Look at his hair. Go ahead, yo. It looks like a band. But you Jeff, know, Jeff, get that you can tell that he up. purposely did it because last week that shit was stringy all over. <laughs> get he that said that player they... whip up. Uh, Jeff, is your hair like that for real? You yes, just... nigga. A lot of you niggas can't wear this yo, shit, man. A lot of us wouldn't want to wear, wear it. Wear it. Yeah, so yeah, check yourself. Shit like that. Just check yourself. Wear, that, is a, that is a some s- pimp shit. That is a slow eye wave. This is some pimp shit. That's good. Hot niggas from Chicago. Exactly. Uh, Got my hair uh, Yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, Health and headline. <laughs> Let me hate the worst niggas. Because a lot of niggas show. can't. Go this year? Go ahead and do it. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can do it. No, don't get cut scared. It. Do it. We can cut it. Do it. With we can cut it. Health and be headlines. Good. Exactly. Y'all all should get a head of hair like this. Mm. Change your life. Change your perspective. Mm. Yeah. Change how you step up your money game. Yeah, Ooh. get that and then get one of those things that his wife got. And welcome yeah. back, yeah. Tiff. There you go. Oh, she she like rubbing she in it. She likes, you know. She like what? That's why she Jeff's so happy. His wife's back. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, he and he made his sure that he bought his, his thing yeah. so she could see it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he hasn't had it, Tiff, for like three weeks. Hasn't had it. Playing your it. game, babe. Yeah. 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 Hey, your see, game, I bet he, I bet he rearranged the go. furniture, too. Is that, is that Barry White? Barry White had the perm. It's Barry White. Had the perm. But Barry White had a natural perm. With Glow Dean. Glow Dean. Come on. Barry White had the hair, though. Don't hate, because you can't wear it. 
Luke no Kim bar. actually, when you thin no, like that, can't. it does. He, he can't. can't. Nah. I think I, Luke should get plugged. Don't even dog. know how to line his hair. Though. <laughs> Are you telling Luke to get plugged? <laughs> yeah, I think he should get plugged. What's your problem? I think it look good. Has anybody ever had a, a press and curl back in the day? I, I had a Jerry Come curl. On. Nah, Jerry no, curl. I didn't have. Yeah. A you know, I didn't have the hair. Louis, no. you Afro? Yeah, barely, little one. I had waves. I have waves, yeah, brush my hair. Okay, go ahead, Jeff. Right. Uh, help no, me I, no, no, no. Um, on the serious note, I got to say something because I wanted to say it last week. And we should address this too. Okay. For the young men out here. Um, rejection is okay. It's okay to be rejected. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to take the violence out on these young ladies and all of that. If they say no, you know, it's okay. It ain't the end of the world. It's like my, the, um, the Alabama guy. Was talking to the girl and the female. I mean, the female, the 23 year old in mm-hmm. the parking lot, and his boy got upset because she didn't give him the time of day. Mm-hmm. So he gave. He was the. Um, he played for the University of Alabama. Uh, he was a sophomore, I think. Mm-hmm. He gave his boy the gun, mm-hmm. and his boy shot and killed the girl. Damn. And you see that a lot. You know, I see rejection. a common. Yeah, rejection. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say to the young kids, I hear the young dudes. It's okay, man. We all been rejected. Uh, it's okay. I, not me. I never. You know, but I'm just saying. Um, you know, on a serious note, it's okay. You ain't got to call her a bitch. You ain't got to call her a hoe. She ain't got to be all of that. You know, you can just take no and just keep it pushing and move on. Mm-hmm. You know, it'd be another day. It just wasn't your try that night. You know. So that's what I want to say about that. So I think that's well said, Jeff. Thank you. you know? No, for real. You, you gotta like. Young man, you got to give yourself an out. So he's like, hey, you doing, sweetheart? Can I get you? Never know. I was okay. I got a boyfriend. <laughs> Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I had girls way better than you not give me their number. <laughs> yeah. You know, you just got to give yourself an out, out of those situations and, and just laugh it off. But keep going. Yeah. Just man, you got to act like you, you got to act like we did at the club. Remember That's that long walk? Hold on, Jeff. Remember that long walk? You would see the girl you want to go dance with and you would walk across the dance yeah. floor and she'd tell you no. Mm-hmm. And then you just go ask her friend. Mm-hmm. Just go. I mean, just keep it pushing. But then it's the pressure and it's the humiliation now. It's now. Because now you got the cell phone. Yeah. So now you can't. Back then, the girls used to give the the wrong number. Right, right. Because you used to write it down on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. And then they give you a wrong number. And so by the time you got home and called it, it'd be like, you know, the, the number, number you, you have really reached was never in service. service. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, you know, they they calling you right then and there. Instantaneously. Yeah, they're right. like, yo, yo I'm, I'm calling you. Pick mm-hmm. up, and they're like, oh, "Okay, lock me in." Mm-hmm. You know, so now women are feeling intimidated; they feeling threatened because if I don't give him my number, I don't know I'm, what's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, I'm gonna be harassed, yeah. and I see it every night. Mm-hmm. I mean, I see it every night. Absolutely. And you have to tell these young, hey man, yo, don't be so aggressive. If she don't want to talk to you, it's she, okay. Yeah, she don't want to talk to it's you. It's okay, but no, some of them. I mean, the alcohol contributes a lot to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. everything else. So I think when it comes to these athletes, though, it's different because who. The athletes. <laughs> the who? The Aflac. Athletes. I said athletes. Aflac. Well, no, no, I know I'm athlete athletes. had feet. No, I, said, athletes. no, I did not say athlete. I said athletes. Try athletics. <laughs> Again. Y- y'all can make this That word up. is fucking you up. No, it ain't. I believe when it comes to that guy on uh, Jeopardy. Or what, what was that show? When the dude said the word wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he just said Achilles. He said Achilles Hill. Yeah. <laughs> he lost a lot of money on that. <laughs> oh. Ooh, sorry. And Incorrect. That, mm. But, but and that, that referenced my joke though, because it's always that one stupid motherfucker in your family, and you be like, yeah, I knew that's well, look, stupid. Let me, let me say this. Send him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me say this. I think one of the problems you have with these guys is that a lot of these dudes never ever, and that's what I'm saying, TDP. What you're saying is really correct. A lot of these dudes have never had to kick game. Yeah. I mean, from yeah, tenth, tenth from tenth grade on. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not tenth grade. From ten years old on, if they've been so you know seen as an athlete, what they're gonna do? They're gonna go ahead. All everybody gravitates to them. Right. So a lot of these dudes never ever had to kick any game, and that's why I think a lot of these guys. You talk, you're talking about today's athlete. I'm talking about yeah, in period. No, back yeah. then we still had to use our words. Right. We right. still had to spit game back then. Mm-hmm. But the difference is, it was even look. It's different. Even back then, a lot of them guys didn't have to say anything. I mean, if, if the girls knew that they was the top. No, Jeff, maybe you're different. I mean, you know, you're different. But a lot of people didn't have to. And the problem is with a lot of these guys, they're not used to rejection because no one's ever rejected them. Yeah. Well, that's like the, the rapper problem. That, the rapper that came out, they asked, and that was a cold interview. When it's like, do you talk to women? Do you need it? Like, no. I just pay for it. Right. Did you? Right. Excuse me, off subject. Did you get this from Japan? 
No, I picked jewelry? it up. No. He had it downtown. And where did you, where's my gift? You said you got Oh, me. I do. And I do have, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I got you. I'm going to tell, tell you what I got you. Dude, copy, Don't tell please, me to right surprise now. me when you bring it. I'll bring it next week. I apologize. You said that last week. Yeah, last week. Just a text. Um, I it ain't came in the mail yet. No, it's, it's, right. it's, no, I got it. By the way, my suits came in. Okay. Uh, so you should wear one of them next week. I am. I feel like Denzel uh, Washington. Okay. It's just a feeling. Put cases in all, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my suit Shoe program. And we'll up. have them stand the whole show. Okay. Go I'm going to wear a suit next week. You ready? Can we show the videos? Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't know if she's back. Oh, she popped up. <laughs> I was like, where did she go? <laughs> all right. I told you I was going to bless you. Here you go. You said you wanted a couple dollars. No. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got to change, too. You got it, man. Happy New Year, man. Goddamn, can't you? Nigga, I was an OJ. Nigga, I had no change. They out of control, man. What, the whole people? Yes. Yeah. You ever hear my joke in that? What I do every night, 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 because the pizza place next to the dime, I asked them. Is their pizza good? Yeah, it's cool. I ask them, you know, if they have any leftovers, and Nas Restaurant Sweet Chicks, you know, give them to me. So by my house, this homeless, the, yeah. the tents, all that. Mm-hmm. So when I go home at night, I'm like, okay, I'm doing a good gesture. So I took like seven or eight pizzas, mm-hmm. some chicken and all that, and they all was like, they was cool. And I just politely asked them that night when I was like, yo, man, please, don't make a mess. Yeah, right, right. Just, you know, there's a trash bin right there. Mm-hmm. Just throw this stuff because this business is right here. Yeah. And they was like, oh, okay, cool. So the next morning I got up early. This was a few weeks ago, and I go on my run. Mm-hmm. And I come back, well, Man, it's chicken wings, pizza things, all out like there. And then the dude jump up, you know, and I'm like, yo, homie, can y'all clean this up, man? Fuck you, nigga. No trash, nigga. Fuck yeah, you, man. We had a party last night. And I was like, yo, What's dude, your pronoun? Yeah, I was like, are you serious, man? He's like, man, fuck you, nigga. You clean it up. Mm. So then I'm, I'm, I'm repenting mm-hmm. because it comes back. So I see him to, I see him Sunday okay. at the gas station. He with his white girl and all that. Get so he come, yeah, so he come up here like, yo, my man. What's up? I'm like, nothing, man. You ain't got a pizza or nothing. You know, I'm like, can we mm. get something to eat? And I'm like, man, nigga, fuck you, homie. Okay. You know, nigga, starve today, motherfucker. Jeff, I changed yeah. no robbery. Jeff, that is really yeah. rude. That's rude, Jeff. No, it ain't. No, no, it ain't. no let me tell you why it's rude, he man. He gave him what he gave you. You should have never gave him food from the get. When, that's why they won't move, Jeff. How, why am I going to move from that tent if I knew every day Jeff came with some pizzas nah, and wings? It was just like, yo, if I do <laughs> this, just clean up. It's right, a trash right, right, thing right, right next right. to you. Jeff, I used to feed the homeless. I'm working with you. You work with me. This is true. I used to feed. You're going to come up to me the next day, and now we cool because you hungry again. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, and I'm coming out there, and he's like, yo, homie, what's up, man? (laughs) You got a couple of dollars? I'm like, what? He's like, you got a couple of dollars to spend or something, man. We try to get some. I'm like, man, fuck you, nigga. Starve today. And then the white woman's like, oh, wow. I was like, no. I gave him food, and I asked him to pick it up, and they just left the shit there. She was like, put him on blast. Here's the deal with it. I used to feed the homeless people. Who asked you? In 2020, I fed the homeless people for six months straight, okay. out of pocket. Okay. And Kyle Williams wound up, wound up joining me. Was feeding them, giving them sandwiches, potato chips, and a cookie from Subway. <laughs> from Sub, that was that's what I was giving them. Yeah. And one time, <laughs> one of the guys go, one of the guys goes, "Yo, you ain't got no water." Now, at first, I was going, I was like. I'm giving you, you know what I mean? I'm giving you food. But in some aspects, you got to see what he's saying. Like, it's a, you know, they want to be, he might be thirsty. buy me chips and no water. Yeah, I'm going to choke be thirsty. I mean, you're right. So, I mean, but what I'm saying well, is. That's the whole is, combo. Yeah. So, what I'm saying to Jeff is, even though you were doing it, I'm not, I'm dogging, I'm saying, even though you did a good gesture, by you feeding him, he felt he had the right to be able to. Say or he do was what, full. Right, whatever the situation was. No, I was out, it was just a simple thing. And man, it's trash being there. Just throw right. it up. But them people don't care. Right, next video, um, speaking of chicken. <laughs> speaking of chicken wings. <laughs> Why they don't want us anywhere. <laughs> All right. Hey, where do y'all get these videos? Jeff, this is your segment. Yeah, Jeff. I don't know. What, uh, what are I'm you trying to say it. about that? What is that? Yeah. I was going to say. Why would you choose that video 
for in a man's world? What what did you get out of that? I thought it was you know it was degrading, but then I was gonna say something. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it now. What? No, you, you always talking about you ain't scared to say something. Say it. I was say, where was he okay, at? Okay, bone crusher. Yeah, he should have been at the dance studio Saturday. What dance? Oh. Mm, got him. <laughs> wow, man, you guys, uh, oh. you guys are vicious here today. You, you can't say that. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Sir. You can't say that. Chat room, not me. Uh, okay, good. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next video. <laughs> Did you really come back with two separate checks? Yeah, that's what I was asking you. You're really gonna make me pay? You gonna get some ass? No. Well, anyways, man, here go the two. She's not gonna give me what? No ass. That's that's crazy. Man. Wait. Are you? Yeah, that's yours, boo. I'm gonna pay the At least they're short kneecap. Fuck you. See, that's your problem. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah. He's really yeah. making me pay, you guys. Hey, how you get home? Ooh. You're fucking taking me home. Uber. You're taking me home. You got gas? No. <laughs> you want to give that to uh, the ride? No. You're taking me home. I think you heat up the food. All right, you guys. He's not making me. Um, he's making me pay for my food because I won't have sex with him. Okay. What's wrong with that? Well, That's just... a sad shame. Look at this man. Don't ever go out with him. Don't give him your number. Just fucking run. Well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You wow. sure that wasn't a skit? It's that looked to... real to me. Yeah. It's hard to tell now, but I mean, you know. It happens. Do you do that on a date now? Do what? Offer up. Or just be like, yo. Uh, we doing this afterwards. It was some fries still left on the plate. So. <laughs> <laughs> he should have asked, but he should have asked that question before he took her out to eat. Well, she after four Why fries. Why is that always to... a prerequisite? Right. That's time. not. But I'm, right. I'm talking about the video. I'm just talking about the no, video. No, I'm just asking oh. amongst guys. Like you guys are guys. Is is there an expectation? Not for me. Of sex every time you take a female out? No, because those weren't those weren't curly fries and, and weren't <laughs> yeah. the richest. No, now those are chili fries. Yeah, she got to get the drawers yeah, up. Chili on it or yeah. something else. I mean, it's just she's a chili. Get yeah, it was a basic fries. Exactly. So yeah. I think he's she's it was okay. Applebee uh, yeah. fillet yeah, cups. Yeah, it was. Hold up, you know. Applebee's. Oh, she got to get ass up. <laughs> Me and Virginia, we Apple talk about bees. this. Yeah, <laughs> we talk about this all time because it was two one. for twenty. Wait, you and who? Virginia. <laughs> Who's Virginia? Virginia. Don't worry about that. Mm. <laughs> no, he bring up a name. They get mad. No, <laughs> they don't want us to That's know. Right. It was a name that that that. That his wife okay for him to say. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. He ain't boldly Ooh. saying it. All right. Not where she's pinky. from. Luby. Right. All right. Oh, oh the Virginia. Virginia. All, right. Oh. all right. Well, then work okay. with us. Damn, let us know. We never know. I, we I thought, thought you was Mr. Comedy. I you thought supposed you were, to be on that. I thought you yeah. were in control of that. I didn't I know. I am in control of that. That's why I said it. Okay. Yeah, right. You, you so boldly saying it now. So, Jeff, your comment on Go ahead. What did Virginia say? No, it was just that we talk about that all the time. It's like, one, should be it's like, um... It was this one video out, and the guy right. set it up to where, you know, I'm inviting you out for a drink. Right. And that's all he was paying for, for a drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she ordered appetizers. And she was like, you're not paying for the appetizers? He's like, no. I just, you know, invite you. Yeah, for a drink. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you think that's like. Yeah, he's being clear. I'm inviting you mm -hmm. out for a drink. Okay. And he's but just, no, her, I, her stand is, she's like, well. I think that's young people stuff, though. I don't never go nowhere without my own money. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Motherfucker act funny. I can pay for but I anything think, I, I order. I think that's young okay, people stuff. Okay, calm though. down. Uh, <laughs> yo, Sammy Sam. She, be, she, so, she come out gangster with everything, huh? Just I noticed like that Jeff. with her. Exactly. Right. Go ahead, Jeff. What's your next video? Yeah, let's see how great this one is. They're just... You guys need to have me and TDP pick these videos. Y'all been kind of off. No, I like them. Of course, TDP. Just Thanks. Let's throw me under the damn bus. To, you want to speak to your daddy? You ain't my daddy. Huh? What you about? You but but I am. Do you know your daddy? What's wrong with you? Huh? What's wrong with you? I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's your trip? I told you what I'm going through. The fuck your problem? You need to watch your damn huh? language. Bitch, I'm God. You ain't God. How the fuck you tell me to watch my language? Ain't no fucking child. Bitch, get off the phone. Go go tell your children to watch their fucking language. Go tell your children. Dumb shit here, bitch. Me. Sweet this church, man. Deep. Hello. <laughs> Who's picking these it videos, man? It just makes sense that Jeff would be 
<laughs> Why you up there? Y'all remember dude, man, from the 90s? I remember him. Yo, yeah. he's a preacher, yo. <laughs> he, I remember yeah. him. Where was he <laughs> from the 90s? He's, he used to be on Public Access every yeah. Tuesday at 4.30. Public access I hear, here's a, a, this is the same I guy, know right? What say. Here I go. Here I go. Ice tea. <laughs> He's crit walking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same dude? Yeah. <laughs> it's priest. <laughs> 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 Some, some uh, weird. I would watch him. What's that <laughs> other preacher that's crazy? I forget. Um, the Man. brother with the glasses. Yes. Yeah. Some weird uh, feeling. I'm feeling like he could be God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was big, man. The way this Yo, world's going, yeah. he yes. could be God. Yes. Okay. Is that it? Because my husband, please. And sister, Mary, Mary, please, Mary, Mary, please, Mary, please. Mary, Mary, before Mary. I really get mad. Mm. Listen. No. You I'm listen. Mad. I'm mad. Good. But she didn't. You want to go kids. nose to nose? Well, so but why she did you? Did you did those kids. Kids. Leave. Come here, she leave. harassed them. Leave now. Don't you push me. I will push, push you, you and I will drag you Don't by the you feet. Don't you touch me. Call. Pray for her soul. She's a we bitch. Are. She's nothing but a Goodbye. bitch. Goodbye. Bitch. Goodbye. Bitch. <laughs> you better pray for her. You better those pray kids. for your soul. Those kids went down. Goodbye. Don't you dare touch me. I will touch you. Touch I will drag you by the feet. Ever. Ever. Leave, 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 leave. Ever. Those kids now, went through hell. I hope you have a good time in traffic. Those kids went through hell. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go Get out of here. Get, Get out of here. I use the same you words. Idiot. Goodbye. <laughs> Glad now, to know that black folks ain't the only ones. Now, my man, that, the preacher from the pre video previous, he should have presided over that. Right, right, right. He should have been like, <laughs> he should have eulogized the film. Oh, man. All right, All right we got one more video. Oh, we got here. another one? Uh, all the decent black men, we need to do something about our communities. We need a culture change. The oh. best way to change culture is to change the women. We need virgins from Africa of the legal age. If we change the women, we change the culture. Because the women are going to pass down their culture their values and their morals black american women are simply morally corrupt they typically <laughs> have babies without being married they trash their virginity they're passing down cruelty to the children they teaching their children verbal abuse mm, yeah. but they get the surgery now <laughs> <laughs> the brazilian butt lift i wow. agree with it. we gotta change the culture <laughs> No, you change. Yeah, your, your your videos weren't weren't good this week. Oh, wow. we got yours. Let's see yours. Um, <laughs> let's see yours. Yeah, mine. wise words from Celeste. Yeah, mine are worse. <laughs> mine Horse are worse. dicks. Okay. Mine are worse. So, Dana, do you agree with him about changing the culture? Kasha. Kasha. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> hey, I'm Lewis Dix. Uh, we, uh, here's Lewis's video. Wait, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Dan Green. What's the name of this show? In a man's world. Tighten up your belts. Well, never. I, I'm sure Bruce is like clicking off right now. Oh, hilarious. This, this, this. Oh, yeah, he's I won't let me play it. Good. 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 Yeah, good. Good. That'll okay. probably get us canceled. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That was an accident. I didn't mean to send that one. Yeah, you did. No, I was watching You it. watched it all You sent this one too, Lewis. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I'm not gay. That's Fred. Is that your testimony? That's Fred. Hilarious. That's you, Lewis. That's Fred. That's Lewis. That's Fred coming out. That's like a cis male to me. <laughs> What's his pronoun? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Available. <laughs> My man was. Can strong. you pray gay away? Is that a thing? I, I, I don't man. think you can pray it away. I think you gotta just. Yeah, uh, bitch, I'm God. You gotta, you gotta push it aside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm delivering. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I think this is Gordon Parks. Is this Gordon Parks you sent me last week? Yes. Okay, so you guys were talking about earlier about when you're in a job and somebody asks you to do something that you didn't come there for, and this I think is oh, appropriate. Okay. How do you get to go from a grip man on a cable car to a director of an international film? Oh, um, well, you don't pay attention to what people tell you. <laughs> um, of course, if I ask everybody uh, what they thought, well, um, I would have never made it. you got to be evil, baby. That's about the size of it. <laughs> Where did you start out directing film? I started out right here in San Francisco. Um, I wrote a book about the cable cars when I used to drive cable cars. And the book was fairly successful. And somebody once said, um, you know, it looks like a film. And I always wanted to try films. And so um, I tried them. And um, I made three. So I went down to Hollywood. And I showed my films around. And I said, um, I like to work. And the guy said, well, maybe we got a job for you. Can you dance? I said, well, baby, that isn't exactly what I had in mind. So then um, I tried another place, and I asked them for a job. And they asked me, did I want to work as a parking attendant? So, um, you know, I got a little discouraged. Yeah. Oh, really, more than discouraged, I just got evil. And I said, well, later. So um, then I swooped. I went to, um, to Holland. And then from Holland, I went to um, Paris. And um, that's where I got it, got it all together. In that yeah, that's it's Melvin. It's easier to break into. That's uh, Melvin Van uh, Peoples. Right? Peoples, yeah. Yeah. not yeah. Gordon Parks. Parks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Label sweet, wrong. sweet. Yeah. Did I what label him? Yeah, sweet, Gordon Park. sweet, back badasses. Yeah. I think it's first movie. Oh yeah, down sure did. Sorry. Salute. Uh, so you don't have to do it to to to, to move up until advance. You stick to your plan. You know. And well, then he didn't stick to his plan. He he. He took other adventures. He decided, I'm going to go here. Yeah. So yeah. he didn't stick to his, he didn't, if he stuck to his It's funny how he, they asked him, do you dance, when yeah. he was there right. to direct In himself. Hollywood? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, now, who here would have danced? Everybody ain't Sammy Davis Jr. Mm -hmm. I don't think none of us would have danced. Who, who at this table would have danced? Danced for the white man? Yeah. I think we all do, in our own way. Mm -hmm. I would have danced. Huh? I mean, I you, you, you might not have literally danced. But we all have had to dance. No, but we talk about what he said. No, Jeff asked the question. And I said no. Jeff talked about that. Are you? Are you? Are you talking? That's what you talking no, about, right? I said who'd have danced? If and I said no. I wouldn't have never danced. Yeah, who'd have danced? If they I would, it wouldn't even came to my mind. Dancing. Right, but my thing is that there. I get what you're saying as far as to dance. There mm -hmm. are some people who someone did dance, and they might have ended up directing a movie by dancing. But that was who he was. But then again, that's the same guy that made Sweet Sweet Bad. Right. So I you wouldn't expect him to dance. Well, at that time, he could have chose to dance. But they choose. They, but I'm saying they, they have you. Or Dick Gregory. Right. He did a different dance. I understand. When he got it, remember the whole backstory of him getting invited to the Playboy Club. Yeah. And him, and it was a snowstorm. Right. And he got on the bus to go. Yeah. That yeah. was him dancing. I'm gonna go dance for these mothers. No, he wasn't yeah. dancing. He was gonna do his job. And when he was gonna dance his way up to what he was gonna dance, this is what, like he was saying, this is how I'm dancing for y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all some truth. And then, no, and the only person that allowed him to dance to keep to, to, that kept him dancing was someone that saw it like him, which was Hugh Hefner. For All right, sure. we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this dance going. For sure, you know, and and just look at the way I think you're using it as a terminology. I'm saying in terms of what Jeff asked about this question here was. They literally asked him, would do you dance? So, Jeff, your question with us was, would you have danced? Yeah, it was like... And I'm saying, no, you're yeah. saying we all have danced, but you're using that terminology as we've all kind of played the game Shuffled to get in. In show business, because that's what that was about. But I don't show think he... Business. But he, that question wasn't asked him as if you're going to play the game with dance. He's talking about dancing literally. Right, and then he went to another thing. They asked him to do something else. <laughs> Cable. He said, No. Right, so and he, he, went, to, he went to another place, you said. He went to another place. Right, though. so that was the dance. That's my analogy. That was the dance. They asked him to dance. No. They asked him to do that. No. Then I'm going to go here to Europe and do that. So he did his dance. We all dance differently. So he could have danced then. <clears throat> and Lewis was a dancer. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that question's answered. Okay. A, really, yeah, Pete? Lewis really? Is, <laughs> She's on one today. She's hot. <laughs> all right. Is that our video? Um, no, one more that um, <sighs> Jeff, video? a quote. That Jeff sent um, to read. If you if you grow up without your father in your life, please don't agree he is everything your mother told you about him. If he is still alive, please reach out to him and hear his hear his own side of the story before taking sides. Exactly. Yeah. That's I agree with that. Yes. 
Is that an affirmation? Right here, testimony. Mm. So I'm not with your mother painted the picture of me. Reach out and talk to me. Mm. And that's for all the fathers out there. You Absolutely. Know. Only thing I would add is that we don't she, need you to add anything. That's well, I'm going to add it. And that's, yeah. that's, why, yeah, okay. that's why some people would listen to you, but I'm going to okay. add the fact that that's true in a sense, but also keep in mind as a father that kids see the things the way they see it. And they have a right to feel a certain way if that's how they felt. Right. But, Lou, you sneaky today. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> because, that, well, because, again, the question is <clears throat> what the mother the, makes the kids feel like towards the father. But you now you're changing it where well, the kids going to feel a certain way. But the yeah, kids, yeah, the kids that feel a certain outside of the mother, they're still going to have feelings about you because they're, they're, they're going to see what they see. But right. we talk about, he's talking about this. Being right. And I'm saying way. along with that. Along Keep with him, it? along with yeah, along with that statement. That statement doesn't live on its own by itself. But it does, because it does. There, the people. Because you're asking me to read that, then I can't. I have to go with that opinion. I can't tell you. Well, my opinion you're, is you're, this. You're making it. Uh, you're making that opinion of th- the statement was don't put the statement should, back up, please. Yeah. You're okay. Switching it all up. If you grow up without your father in right. your life, please don't agree he is everything your mother told you about him. Right. If he is still alive, please reach out to him and hear his own side of the story before taking sides. Okay. And I'm saying that, yes, that's true, but also keep in mind that the kid who says, if you're out, your father in your life, please don't agree he is everything your mother told you about him. Okay. Period. Now, there are other things that you know about your father right. that your mother might have co signed or didn't co sign. With this in mind, that I'm not just going to know about my father based on my mother. But if that's all you know about your father is through your mother. Then you don't know your father. But if that's what he's saying, then that's why I go back. And if, if he's alive, go find out his side of the story. But if he's not alive, never mind. It ain't nothing you can do. But that's not the, that's not I don't the, care. That's not the statement. You, you do care. Because if you didn't care, <sighs> that wouldn't be up there. That's my point. You're stop, sitting there stop, trying stop, to be, stop, stop, but stop. you're no, saying no, 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 I don't no, 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 care. No, no. Stop, stop, stop. You want us to believe you don't no, care? Stop, stop, stop. What then? It was just a throwback to early in the conversation. I know, I got that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. But you don't have to elaborate and the go joke on that was, The joke wasn't right. Yeah, but it, mm. for, it my jokes you are never right. You were supposed to say, right regardless, no, I don't care. My if you're going no, to a callback. But for you, my jokes are never right. No, that's just how you feel. No, I've made not. you feel that no, way. No, you're not. TDP, you want to jump in, referee this? I know you have to referee. This is real. No. I've 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 hmm? I've made you feel no, that you're stuff. Girl, you and you, know I've told I, you you're I, funny though. No, I don't need your. Oh, you told him. Oh, damn. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> need, I don't need your. Since I'm the one that's always <laughs> telling him you're not funny, isn't that what he's saying? Everything you say about me, I'm not funny. I'm not funny. So now I'm telling you you're funny because evidently it means something now to you. Deal with it. Yeah. So take it and make it funny. <laughs> no, it you're gonna not, get not, there. It's, I'm already there. Mm. I've been Ooh, there, bitch. Been there. You've been there running around. So what do you say about the dog? Does that's all right though. Only when he's lost. Yeah. Exactly. And he's that's lost right. in the comedy yeah, world. That's, not, that's all right though. I'm gonna find my way. Mm. Jeff, did you? Can want I open me up to, for you? Um, <laughs> huh? Play the video from the dime. Yes, please. No. So the world can see. Oh, we got a better picture now? Yeah. 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 Okay. Was. Oh, that's oh, nice. Come, yes. on. Turn. <laughs> come on. Did somebody, did somebody that got knocked out, is that, is that from the fight? He's showing I, the crowd. That he's trying not to, you trying to let, not let him see you tape it? <laughs> why is the camera so low? And why is it tilted? Yes. So I iPhone 2. Yeah, that shit look lit. <laughs> wow, look at Portis. Slang. <laughs> oh, that dude got his hair painted. Okay, help us out why the camera angles that way. I think it's the way that it loaded up on the software. Yeah. yeah. So wait, go back again. I'm a, I'm a great filmmaker. Yeah, it's the okay. Way so that what it, now? No. Hand. Okay. Well, just you said, like that fat woman in the commercial. That is hilarious to me. The woman in the commercial that's running with her kids. So all right. So explain to us what we're seeing. That's the crowd outside when you get in. That's the exterior. Yeah. Now that they all got on shoes that you approve of. Yes. Now her stomach's out. <laughs> did you did you allow her to come in? Yes. All right. I'm just making. Interior. It looks small inside though. Is it small? It we know y'all sell Corona. Yeah. It's a super spreader. He got shiny head. Uh-huh. Uh, who else? Uh, where's the DJ, boo? Who's the DJ? No, no, he's the DJ from New York. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think we got to be high to watch it. That's cute. <laughs> he said, I think we got to be high. <laughs> they got to be wrong, so they couldn't see the... the oh, that's, 
All right. So next week we'll have another version of the dime. A better one. Yeah. So let's do that every week. Get a different version of the dime. How about a better angle though every week? Yeah. Yeah. We just now we want to see the restrooms, and the DJ booth, and the bar. Can you do, can you do a thing when it's empty? <laughs> Yeah. And then do a yeah. All right. Can you ask people after. questions? Yeah, ask people. I'm Show us come. the bathroom. Can I come interview some people? Yeah. Say, hey, how do you feel about Jeff? Get away from me, creep. <laughs> All right, I'm Little Sticks. Phone? TDP. Yeah, we want to thank the people who donated. Oh, yes. You guys. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we want to thank Jackie Walsh, um, Dana, um, that also donated, and Stephen Barnes. And someone just Got, donated did on. Did Guy Tory or Bruce? I'm just kidding. Um, and thank you, Celeste, for oh, your yeah. donation as well. I know Bruce is watching. Thank you. This is how you can donate if you want to support what? the show. Support the guys for showing up every week. We appreciate it. What do you want to say about to Bruce? I want to say Bruce is, you know, I have a great idea for you. <laughs> this is a good pitch. That's what we're not doing. Yeah, we are. No. It's a good pitch. Yeah. No. See, you do that at another time when you and him are sitting down just having, having a cigar. Yeah, chop, chopping it up. So he can get to know you and want to work with you. Mm. That's why you just yelled out in public. I don't want to be a mailman. What, to him? Yeah. When did I say that? Yeah. At the thing? Yeah. I did not yell it out. Yeah. I, say, I say that to everyone. No. Everybody that I meet, I say, I just yeah. want to be a mailman. Why are you wrapping up your headphones and you tired because, of this shit? Hey, man. I don't like yeah. That. I am. I mean, like, shout, oh, wait, <laughs> hey, shout out to Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Jeff wanna, is representing Iverby. Iverby. Yeah, I want to let the chat room know that I've been well behaved last week. Thank you. All right, thanks for listening. Hey, chat guys. people. I, I don't even pay attention. Good luck. <laughs> Remember to, to support the show. Yeah, we, thank you guys. We out. Appreciate the gas money. <laughs> <laughs>